I've got some cool stuff. Exclamation point. Nothing exciting happening till six. six. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Welcome. Can you guys Can hear, you me, hear this me this time? time? Just one, Just of, one me? of me? Can you hear Can my phone exploding? It's been it's two, been two weeks. weeks. I forget how to do this. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Deb. Barbara, how's the new cutie? I just read something nice on my Etsy from you. Thank you. Barbara, vintage muse. Oh, there are two of me again. Okay. See, this is why we came on early. Hold up. You can look at this. It's cool. Why are we going? Ooh, and it's quite a lag. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm, oh sorry, I'm sorry, Barb. Barb. Put, Put your knee up. up. Have, some, Have ice. some ice. Do some Do shopping, shopping online. online. Well, the good well, the news is, is, this time at least we, we have the video, video if we can we figure, can figure out, out the... Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. If we can if we figure, figure out, out the audio. audio. To, save to save your, your ears, ears, you guys should go do something else till six.
Still, Still working, working on the audio, audio you guys. guys. How does, How it, does sound it sound now? Hello. Yeah, terrible lag too. Oh, it's better now? <laughs> That's a good idea, Cheryl. You guys can't just imagine that it sounds good. <laughs> I'm creeping around trying not to burst into like swear words or something since the microphone's on, but it's tempting. Oh, goody, we're not echoey? No, no. Cool. We're, fuzzy too. we're kind of fuzzy, fuzzy and we have quite a lag, but we're getting there. Hey, Peggy, Kathleen. Well, here. Kay snuck in. Mark keeps doing something that makes the chat disappear, so. That's my whole focus is. Oh, uh, uh, bleh, great. Audio is going well. How about the focus for you guys? Because it looks kind of fuzzy to me. Okay, thank you. It could happen anytime. Hi, Louise. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I'm so sorry to drag you in early. I was just telling everybody that um, Mark and I decided to sort of sneak on early to try to rectify the um, <clears throat> craziness from last time. Oh, excellent. It looks good. Does that mean you can see what this is? Moving it slowly so nothing happens. I found this. Don't get excited. It's not for sale because I found only one. Oh, thanks, Kay. That makes me feel better. Zoom in a little bit, Cheryl. Sure. It is war rations, and look. The stickers are in there. Isn't that cool? And that's all that I found. One book. And they were not giving this puppy away, let me tell you what. But I thought I would share it, because last time we were talking about them, somebody had said they hadn't seen them before. 
and they are kind of hard to come across. So that is what I was putting there. Yay! All right, we've got clear audio, clear video. We're going to go out on a limb and try to zoom in. Wait, Mark took my chat away again. Don't say anything funny. Hold on, you guys. We have a personal challenge to get ourselves together by 6 o'clock. Oh, look at that. We zoomed. Of course, you may not be able to tell because with the lag, it is going to be 10 minutes. <laughs> Penny, why is Jessica going to have a fit? Over the war, uh, war rations? I thought she got some. Oh, good. Cheryl, it's better. Darla, hi. <laughs> oh, I got the double thumbs up from the nice old man. I thought, Penny, I thought Jessica had just gotten a ton of these. I don't know anything, though. Oh, you know what I forgot, you guys, is my water. I don't know why I've had such a dry mouth all day. I've had 27 gallons of water, and yes, real water, before any of you smart Alex say anything. And uh, I'm still, my mouth is so dry. I don't know why. And Lady Scrapper, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. You know someone who has a lot of them? Lucky you. They're really hard to find. Cheryl, that's cool. Your dad's. Are you going to use them in your books? Angie, that's right. I'm so sorry. All right, you guys, talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to go get some water. And I'll show you my current... Um, Junk journal Fobonichi, because I know that some of you guys do daily junk journaling too. Look, I edited it. Edited it. Um, yeah, this is October. Want to see how much I've done? Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll just talk about that in a minute, but I'll let you enjoy this funny book. My friend Grace Murphy gave it to me, so I've turned it into, well, I'm trying to turn it into my October and November daily junk journal slash Fobonichi. No, Cheryl, you're not putting them in your junk journals? Don't be that way. Everything is fair game. I'm pretty sure. Okay, seriously, I'm going to go get my water. You guys go get some water. Get something to drink. Get a snack and then tell me about it. Wow, you guys, it just started pouring here. Julie, hey, good to see you. We came on early because last time it was um, so ridiculously ridiculous that um, Mark and I decided that we would start really early so that by six we could have our stuff together. Penny, I'm not goldfish. Oh, Julie, I'm so glad you're here speaking of because I have something that you want. Darla, I know, because I'm set up in the kitchen so I can stand at the counter. 
and it's um, the ceiling is much higher in here than it is down in my art room. So it kind of echoes. I heard it last time, the last time we did the live. And I know it sounds really sort of tunnely, but it's a lot easier for me to get stuff sort of set up around me. Oh, thanks, Regina. Hi. Pretty soon you'll hear poor old Spike outside coughing his face off because that's what he does. You guys, oh my goodness. It's so exciting to see you all. Hi, Susan. I didn't find total bird books, but I do have some nice nature books. And I have some beautiful um, vintage field guide pages so that you can get kind of a mixture of them. Thanks, Darla. I appreciate it. That's why I'm worried about just starting to swear uncontrollably for absolutely no reason. Christina, yeah, right on. Hi there. Oh, Louise, did you just get your giveaway? I mailed it the, the day after the stream. So anybody who's just coming in now, I was saying that Mark and I tried to go on earlier just so that by six we could not have, you know, double audio and triple streams and all the silliness from last time. So that's why we're just hanging out for a little bit. Gosh, Louise, that took forever. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, there goes Spike. You can probably hear that. Barb, stop yelling at Louise. And Christina, if you're pouring the wine, you just come on up here. Yep, I'm drinking my water like a good girl. All right, you guys, should we try to call Jessica? She was going to mod for me. Will someone go yell at Jessica? And Margie, Faluk Feline, where is that rascal? I know Can uh, it's Canada, Louise, but really I'm in Maine. Oh, but you're over on the western part, in the western part of Canada, aren't you? Oh, Cheryl, you got it already. See, Cheryl gets hers in 15 minutes. Yours takes, I don't know, how long has it been? Like three weeks or something? Do you love your book, Cheryl? Well, I guess we'll let them off the hook. I think Jessica was up all night long again. She's so nutty. I should probably give you something more interesting to look at. Okay, let's talk about this. That'll be fun. Oh, you are next door, Louise. That's crazy. Yeah, it's the postal service. What are you going to do? Oh, Debbie, we're in Washington State. We have a lot of you guys. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Cheryl. I love those books. Uh, it's a museum book from the Farnsworth Museum here in Maine and from the, I think the middle of the 40s or something and they put that out and I just thought it was so neat. Cynthia, yeah, it's going to. Um, I'll just show you some stuff and I'll type ready, set, go and you guys say me, me please. Louisa, uh, not Louisa, I'm sorry, Marge's favorite, you say boobs, you know, whatever works for you. I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, Debbie, the nice old man will be your best friend because he loves the Seahawks. He's originally from Seattle. Wow, Oklahoma. Well, I knew that because I just addressed something to you, but why, did, why was I thinking you'd live somewhere else? Good thing you got your book. I didn't address it to some random person. <laughs> Julie, Texas. Somebody else here is from Texas, I think. Oh, Cynthia, you're right next door. Were we talking about this last night? I think we were. At Jessica's, maybe? Debbie, yes, every day should be Jimmy Day. Oh, Dana, I love the Carolinas. I lived in North Carolina for a little bit when I was little. Oh, my phone is dinging. Maybe it's Jessica. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Be nice. Yeah, I'm a foot away. You can hear me. I know. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> yep, it's Jessica. Hold on, guys. We're going to call her. Jessica, if you're watching, I'm calling you now. Hey, 
Hey, you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're alive. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm going to put... You're asleep? Jessica was asleep, you guys. Oh, that will wear you out. Nice. Uh, we've been on for a while because Mark and I decided to go early trying to, you know, cut down the nonsense from last time and um, everybody popped in. So we've just been chatting and looking at the naked mole rat oh, gets dressed. But I have to figure out how to put you on speaker, so hold on. You're going on speaker, so be a good girl. Okay, wait a second. Okay, you're on speaker. What did you block me? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I blocked you. Can you mod for me? Now you're blocked. <laughs> hey, you guys, we got Jessica. Okay. Can you hear her? Happy early birthday, Debbie. What are you taking off your bucket list? Yeah. list? I had ducky today. Ducky. Jessica had ducky. Hi, Nikki. We're just messing around because um, we came on early, so we haven't done anything cool. Just chatting. Are we rocking and rolling or what? We are. We were just ch chatting until 6 o'clock. Hey, it's Patty, and I think I missed people. Whoever I missed oh, okay. saying hi to, I'm sorry. You what? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's Daniel's yet, though. No, I was going to wait till 6. Oh, okay. Hi, a mini hobby. What's your first name? Elizabeth is here. Hi. I'm so glad you could make it for a minute. Oh, Debbie, I haven't been to a Cracker Barrel forever. That was my mom's favorite, and now I want some. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. We're just messing around. We're going to start the sale in just a minute, but I was waiting until everyone got here. Sheila, it's 11. I always get confused. I send you messages at funny times. Your package went out today, Sheila. Thank you. How are you feeling? Penny's in Texas, too. Julie just said she was from Texas. All right, you guys. We know that you don't believe in Texas, Jessica. <laughs> it is no longer a place to me. Can you guys hear Jessica? Yeah. Say hello. I know you did, Julie. I'm being good so far. Sheesh. All right, sing us a song, Jessica, and see if people can hear you. <laughs> nice entertainment. Can you guys hear Jessica? She gave us a rousing rendition. Oh, good. Darla says they can hear you, so be good now. Okay. How was Ducky? Jessica had Ducky this afternoon. <laughs> that baby is he, yummy. Uh, when my son came in to pick him up, I was laying in my bed asleep, kind of propped up, and <laughs> I had my phone in my hand with trolls playing for him. Oh, that's funny. That's hysterical. I love that baby. You guys want to look at some books? Want to start this this show off with some books? Oh, Jessica, I have to show you something. Penny says your head's going to pop off, and that's fun. I enjoy that. Are you ready? We have a terrible lag. Are you looking, Jessica? Jessica. This is just for my own personal entertainment, you guys. Oh, you can't understand her, Dana? She's going to be typing. She'll be the one. She's moderating. And um, she'll be the one typing go. I know. Isn't it cool? I know. <laughs> I thought you just got a million. 
I have a million. I have a few. I've never found one with the tickets in it, the coupons. Yeah. I love that was, it. Yeah, that must have been the beginning of the month. Yeah. It was a bad wife, a bad uh, month for them. She was a housewife here in Saco. All right, you guys, what do you think? You want to do some books? I got some cool books. Oh, Christina, isn't that book adorable? Jessica's very naughty. Oh, Julie, try to jump back on. Julie, I have a giant atlas from 1929 that is calling your name. Hey, Chris. Okay, that's so funny. Now I can hear myself on Jessica's phone and on Mark's computer outside. This might end badly. All right, books. We're going to do books. Let's do some books. This will be fun. Look what we found. Wow, the lag's terrible. This book has been there forever. It's Elvis Presley's Love Me Tender. And it says a free Elvis CD. And that is not true because it wasn't in there. But this is the cutest book. I'm not like a giant Elvis fan. I'm not not a fan. But this book is so cute. I thought for like a um, graduation gift or a birthday gift or something. Isn't, the illustrations are just adorable. Hey, Brooke. Yes, lovey. Um, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to call me on the actual phone. Sure. Um, just in case there's any lag on the actual on the phone part. I don't know. All right. You know that I'm... Um, you know what I mean? I do, but you know I'm challenged. Do you mind calling me so I can just answer because, you know... I'm, yeah. I'm doing yeah. one thing, and that's my limit. Right now. Cool. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, you guys know that's one is my limit. One thing at a time. All right. So anyway, isn't this book so cute? I just thought the drawings were so adorable and for a kid's book, or not anybody that you love. There's Jessica. Hold on, guys. Getting Jessica. There you go. You're on speaker. Right on. Right on. All right. So, are you set, Jessica? Yeah. So, what's your pricing? The, the books I'm showing now are going to be $3. All of the books? The ones I'm showing right now, till I say different, they sure are. Okay. So, this is Elvis. And he's got the dust jacket. Let's see. I've got my, what, what does Selena call it? My measuring stick. And it is 11 and a half by 9. And quite thin. So that is Elvis. And Elvis is $3 plus shipping, you guys. Whenever you're ready, Jess. All right, Miss L. I've never seen you shopping alive. Sweet. Thank you. This book is cute. You'll love it. All right. Oh, I meant to put the next one up. I thought I learned that last time. All right. This is Dandelion's Christmas, also $3. And I just thought it was so cute. The cover is kind of um, squishy. This is not vintage or anything. But I thought with Christmas coming... Um, someone might be interested because the bunny is so cute. It's got kind of glossy, heavy pages, and I really like the size of it. Isn't that so cute? Look at the carrots. The glare is kind of bad, huh? Elizabeth, you have a thing for Elvis? How did I not know that? I knew how he sang, I, or I, that he played guitar. I didn't know he sang, too. I think it's um, mostly because the book is glossy pages. I okay. think it'll be okay, but thank okay. you. Mark was asking if we needed the um, lights turned down. And Dandelion is seven by seven and a half. And Jessica, whenever you're ready. Oh, 
Oh, Elizabeth, that's so cute. Well, you're gonna have to make him a journal. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a pass on Dandelion. Um, this one is gorgeous. This is bulbs. Oh, I thought I had them so there'd be something in the screen the whole time, darn it. Um, this one is really cute. It's, let's see, I say about, that about all the books. I'm gonna move the measuring stick up. This guy is 10 inches by six inches, which I think is a fun size. And it does have the dust jacket. And again, this one will be $3. The illustrations are beautiful. They're not illustrations, they're photographs. You know, realistic illustrations. <laughs> this book is mm, just about three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is bulbs when you are ready, Jessica. That's me reaching. Can you see me? Uh, Peggy. Peggy. Peggy jumps in. Watch out for Peggy. Thank you, sweetie. And this one, I just love. It's a little beat up. But everybody loves Richard Scarry. Who doesn't love Richard Scarry? I get so excited when I find this book or any of its friends. I thought I had a different one. I might have two of these, actually. Oh, yeah, you know what? Jessica, I actually have two of these. Um, this one's going to be $3. This one's going to be $2 because it's kind of in rough shape. The staples are rusted uh, and the cover's kind of bent up, but the pages are great. So if you're looking for it just to collage or make a journal, this would be the one. Oh, that light is really bad up in that corner. Huh. Okay, so are you going to do them separately then? I am. So why don't we do the $3 one? Whenever you're ready, Miss Jess. Okay. Thank you so much. You guys, I was so nervous last time. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl Stark, yay. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Oh, sorry. I was just telling Mark we could hear me on his computer, and it's making me want to faint. It is because it's the beat up guy. I mean, all of these are old and they may have some dings, but um, that one in particular, I'll show in just a minute. That. Oh, I forgot to put sold in all of these, so I'm not typing so fast this morning, I guess. Well, I just woke you up, but that I think it's fine. People are keeping an eye. Okay. No biggie. If that's the worst thing that happens during this stream, Jessica, then we are going to be having a good day. All right, so Richard Scarry, $2. Oh, Cheryl, for your babies. And Margie's here. Why can't Margie see the screen and chat at the same time? You're going to need to do both of those things, Margie. Get yourself together. Oh, Nikki, was I buffering? Huh. Doesn't show here, but as we have established, I really can only do one thing at a time, and I was writing on a post-it note. So, moving on. Oh, this one's really cool. This one's $3 also, Jessica, and it's College Zoology. I love textbooks. And this guy is nine and a half by six and an eighth, maybe, and about an inch and a half. And it's heavy. Is Selena in the house? Hi, sweetie. $3. Yes, this one's three dollars too, and it comes with a bonus dust ball and list. I don't know. Please, something. I don't know what the list is for. I should have taken. I shouldn't have missed that day. But isn't this neat? The pages have a little bit of gloss, and there's some extra dust. I got this one at that um, cool vintage festival that we went to, one of the millions last weekend, uh, and it was outdoors and it was pouring. So um, these have some extra dust balls from being stuffed in a bag. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
Okay, and then Grandma and needs you and Sebastian to help her put the, the top on the pool. I'm moderating her book for her life, so. Yeah. So, so Sebastian gets home, he should be home pretty slow when you guys help her with that. You're good at multitasking. <laughs> I'm impressed. We got Patty Lang. Patty Lang. Yay. Thank you, honey. I like that one. You guys, just like everybody else, um, what I'll do is put your orders together if you end up with more than one thing and um, figure out the cheapest way to ship it for you. Books will go um, medium mail. So that one's cool, Peggy. Not Peggy. That's what I meant to say. You what? I love all the illustrations in that. I do too. I was really excited to find that. And this one, I don't know why Mary Englebright and Raggedy Ann are stalking me. Um, and it makes me uncomfortable. Hi, Sandra. But yeah, every place I go, there's either Mary Englebright or Raggedy Ann. And I know some people love her, so this one's really cute. Um, this book is nine inches by seven and a half and I don't know half an inch thick and it does have the dust jacket and this one's going to be three also isn't that pretty I know again I've got this hot spot over here but so so Mary Engel Brady <laughs> Margie you only missed a couple books sweetie yeah I was I was waiting on the cat stuff I'm sorry Jessica I saw Crafty Chris in the house and she got it. Excellent. Thanks, Chris. Oh, boy. Susan, are you watching? Because this one's got some really cool nature pictures in it. It's a child craft. Let me just write down on this one. Oh, I'm just making up new spellings for people's names. Well, and I'm making up names for people also, so great. It's going to be like playing the lottery when you get your box. Not really, I swear I'm writing the right things down. All right, so this is a child craft. Number six, The Green Kingdom. And it is from, it's not terribly old, but I loved the pictures. Uh, 1994. That's kind of a while ago now, huh? <laughs> so it is, it is I know, really, that, I, that just is crazy. Um, the pages are sort of semi-gloss. I think it would definitely take marker. I don't know about colored pencils, but this is all just about plants and um, fruits and vegetables. And there's some photographs and there's some illustrations. Oh, and look, now I'm reading the book. Whoops, that's not interesting. Ooh, look at that. I love that. Vampire plants, look. It's Halloween also. This book can fulfill all of your book needs. I love child craft. I do too, and I uh, I haven't seen these covers before, so I just liked it. The pages are kind of thin for a child craft, I have to say. But that's ready when you are. Oh, you already did it. You're so clever. I'm catching up. Margie, behave. You keep an eye on that Margie. She's warming up. <laughs> She's all sassy now that she can. Yes. All of them. No dirty comments, people. All right, we'll move along on that. How about the How and Why Wonder Book of Seashells? Again, not terribly vintage, but who can say no to seashells? Looking for a, a date. This is kind of newsprinty. Oh, it is. It's 1961. I lied. It's all kinds of vintage and stuff. But the paper is, um, as I was saying, is kind of newsprinty. So this would make. It is cool, isn't it? And it's in good shape. So it's, you know, flexible. It's not brittle, which is why I didn't think it was as old as it is. I know, and I actually have some seashell pages coming up out of, I've got some field guide packets, and so if someone's working on ocean stuff, 
Oh, don't look. Can't have that. <laughs> uh, but, so I like that it's colored and black and white. So that is this guy. $3 when you're ready, Miss Jeff. This is 11 and a half by eight and a half. And it's about a half an inch thick, I'd say. Okay, uh, this. Cynthia. Cynthia McCoy. Excellent. Thank you, honey. Oops. Here comes my measuring stick, Selena. I'm just writing down the notes on these right now, guys, and putting them in your book. So how about that? Who doesn't love the royal and their paper dolls? This made me laugh. I always like to look at paper dolls. And for some oh, reason, paper they're paper dolls. Fashion paper dolls in full color. Mm -hmm. Nobody's cheaping out on the royals. So this is a, um, it looks like Dover Craft or something. Doesn't say it, but it's what it oh, looks like. Dover, oh, it is. Yep, it is a Dover book. It's not plastered all over it like it usually is with Dover, but it is a Dover book. And this guy is about 12 and a quarter by nine and an eighth. And, you know, about that thick. <laughs> it's about that thick. Oh, my heavens. Wow, the lag is super bad, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm afraid to try to mess with anything. It's the Royals. I know. <laughs> I'm entertaining myself. Since I'm not nervous this time, Jessica, I just have to entertain myself. But n <laughs> nothing has been cut out of this book. And it looks like brand new. So I know people love the Royals, and so people love paper dolls. So I said, I'm going to get that. I'm so not in the middle. Is that more in the middle? It is Charles and his undies, Barb. <laughs> Nikki Royal boobies. Candy's here. Uh, Lena? Lena gets it, and hi, Candy. Thank you, Lena. Whoops. I, was, I thought that was fun. I keep trying to remember to put something out first before I take the other thing away. See how that's going for me? All right. Nobody wanted the job craft book? No, isn't that funny? Okay. That's what I got was nothing but... I don't know, maybe we'll show it again later in case someone new comes in. Or in case you guys came to your senses. All right, this is Horses in Harness, a pictorial recollection of the horse-drawn decades. Um, and I just thought it was neat. The binding is broken, so it's only $3. But look at the illustrations. Aren't they so cool? I just thought this was a really fun book. So, and it's, um, it's smooth paper and it's not brittle at all. And I would, you know, it's kind of like copy paper, but a little heavier, but it's got that nice smooth fixed, uh, finish. So if you wanted to color it or anything, I think colored pencils would be amazing. And it's got all kinds of neato old advertising and I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And I know some people are into horses. I used to be. Margie, you're not a good girl. Who did I miss? I know I've missed someone. I've been reading my books. If I miss saying hi to you guys, I'm sorry. All right. Selena's being nice. Oh, no, I missed it. All right, so we're going to move on to my treasured tales. Selena, type go is my advice. Or not go, type me. You can type go, but you're not going to get anything. Um, this one is My Treasured Tales. And it's 11 by 8 and 3 quarters by 3 quarters of an inch. And the illustrations are adorable. It reminds me of Rand McNally, which is why I thought of you, Selena. And I didn't mean for this to be in the $3 pile, but I said it was $3, so I guess it's a bargain book. Whoops. Isn't this so cute? Look at him. It is Rand McNally. 
Oh, that's funny. I guess that's why it reminds me of Rand McNally. We got a me from Sandra. What are, what are you meing for, honey? If you're on this one, you got to wait till. I'm sorry. Yeah. Got to wait until Jessica types go. Oh, and she did. This book is. Okay, candy. All right, burn swag. Candy, you got a great deal on this. I'll put it with your pile, your ever growing pile. This is copyright 1995, so it's not terribly old. But that was a great deal on that candy. And that is it on the $3 books. Let's put Candy's name. You guys want to do a few more books? Oh, I have two more $3 books that I want to do because I know that somebody's going to like them. I'm not saying who. All right. Move this one out. And put these guys here. The dust jacket is torn on Benjamin Bunny, but his inside is good. Okay. And these will be $3 each as well. If you want to do them separately, Jessica, that would be awesome. Whichever one you want to do first. Okay. I'm going to write them down before I measure them. Excellent. Thank you, Cheryl. Congratulations. Oh, is it Cheryl Wilm or Cheryl Stark? Uh, Wilm. Thank you. Susan's in the house. Hey, Susan. Was that one Jemima? Oh, Benjamin Bunny. Crazy in here, Mark. There's so many ladies and gentlemen. Do we have any gentlemen? Oh, Susan. Cool. Thanks, Susan. You got here just in the nick of time. All right. They're written on in the inside cover, but it's just pencil that'll come out. I just got these last weekend, and I forgot to go and. Um, Take that out, but let's let's do some more books. That's it for my three dollar books, but I got some five dollar books. Everything's stacked on the table behind me, so that's where I keep wandering off to. All right, this is a cool calendar, and I've never seen it. And this one is five because I had to pay a lot for it, unfortunately. Three dollars. This one's gonna. These are gonna be five. Susan, that's a big grinny face. Very cute. Oh, and Dorinda's here. Hi. I'm so glad you guys could make it. And Tammy. Oh, you make me feel good. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, Margie, let's not talk, talk about cooking. I don't believe in that. So anyway, this is a Betty Crocker cooking calendar, a year-round guide to meal planning with recipes and menus. And it's like a perpetual calendar with little facts and stuff. It's got some recipes in it. Um, it's just, I just thought this was a fun book, and I'd never seen one like it. It's got the spiral binding. But these would be so cute in a cooking journal or for collaging, and I think the people look funny. And, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. I seriously can tell that it's probably writing, but what it might say is a mystery. <laughs> Cannot begin to tell you when it was um, published. That is some tiny writing. So I'm guessing. Cheryl, well, I guess. Cheryl, Cheryl's on fire. Thank you, honey. All right. Margie, is Margie paying attention? This is so cute. Miss Sniff, the fuzzy cat. Um, the, it's textured. They're called a fuzzy wuzzy book. 
and I have to tell you, the spine is in bad shape. It was taped. Somebody loved it very much, but the tape is now coming off. It feels really old. Um, but this one sort of reflects what I had to pay for it. I just couldn't leave it because it's fuzzy wuzzy. Tammy's here. Hi, Tammy. I'm sorry, Jessica, did you say something, honey? No, I'm just laughing. Oh, because I'm a goof. 1945. That's a really cute book. I, I had to buy it. I thought it was a little bit expensive, but I couldn't. This one's fuzzy, too. Like, it's fuzzy through the whole book. All right, that's a lie, because this page isn't fuzzy. I'm, check, I'm feeling it up just to make sure this is not fuzzy. <laughs> and that's how we get weirdos in the streams. It's all my fault. Hi, Erin. Your electrician finally left. Yay, you can craft again. Is everything off the desk? Oh, there is, um, it looks like there's some water. Oh, no, actually it's not. It's the shadow of a cat drawing right there. I was gonna say there was water damage, but it's not. It's supposed to be there. And this one's fuzzy. So this one is going to be $5 as well, Jess, whenever you're ready. Nice kitty. That's candy. Candy. Oh, look. Why is the tree pink? She's quick on the trigger today. You did what? She's quick on the trigger today. <laughs> yeah, she's been flexing her fingers, I think. Thank you, Candy. Now, the next two, I wasn't sure. I thought they were really cool, and I don't know if anyone's going to have any interest in them or not. But I thought they were nifty. And I got two of them. They're postal... Um, uh, help me, all the words fell out of my head. Postal collection catalogs. There we go. Wow. That was hard. Um, for people who collect stamps, obviously. They're not terribly old, 2006 and 2005. But look how cool the insides are. I thought that would be so much fun to fussy cut. Yes, Jessica. Them. You're missing? Do the first two on these then? The first. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. So, are we going to do the first two people on this one or are we doing them separately? Oh, the first two people, I think they're very, very similar. I think that would be fine. Hi, Myrna. Oh, and Candy's doing a happy dance. I wish we could all play. So these are like 10 and 3 quarters by about 8 and a quarter. And I just thought they looked really cool. It's very glossy. The pages are heavy, but they would collage beautifully. So I don't know if that, that was a shot in the dark getting these guys, but they'll be $5 a piece. And they're thick. Um, this one is like 182 pages. So there's plenty for cutting. It's about a half an inch thick. Okay, I have Susan uh, with fur and then Peggy. Peggy Pitty. Is she being uh -huh. good? Peggy's been a little fresh lately. Is Peggy being good? She better be. All right. You guys, I'm just picking at random, so they really are very similar. I was looking at some of the prices. My goodness, people pay a lot of stamps. Lots of money, like thousands and thousands of dollars. So, you know what? For five bucks, you can cut all those expensive stamps up. This is really neat. This is another $5 one, Jess, please. And it is from the Newburyport Public Library. Whoops. And it was received November 18th, 1928, it looks like. And it does have a little bit of sticky water up here, like a watermark. It got in water, but um, considering how old it is, it's in really good condition. And it's folk dances and singing games. 26 folk dances. Copyright 1909. This page is a little brittle, it's torn but you get the music for the folk dance 
and then you get the pictures of how to do the dance. You guys, party in a book. Let's do some folk dancing. I thought it was so cute. And look at their clothes. So I thought this guy was really cute. Different. Isn't that different? Yeah, it's weird. And the pages are sort of semi-glossy. This guy is busting a move. You should buy it just for that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Folk dances and singing games. And it is 12 by just over nine. I'm sorry, that's a lie, nine and a quarter. And it's, Regina. Wow, she has, Regina doesn't even care how, how big it is. Regina doesn't care. All right, putting Regina in there. Thank you, Regina. I feel like I've found all the cool books in the world and I'll never find another cool one. All I'll ever find is little golden books for the rest of my life. I'm telling you, they get on me. It's not my fault. All right, so this is um, a well-loved copy of The Little Red Hen. I just thought it was so cute. There's some pencil and a little bit of water damage in the back, um, but... I just had to buy it because it's adorable. The spine needs loving. Definitely coming right out there for you. And somebody went crazy with the crayon. And you know what, Jessica? I forgot this had crayon in it. So why don't we make this one three? Because somebody did go all artsy in it. I still think it's adorable. It's... Oh, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> it is. It's coming apart, you guys. It's really brittle. But it was published in 1930. So it's been around. Margie, chicken. Are we having chicken? Or is it this chicken? Because it's old and I don't want to eat it, but I do love looking at it. It's all the black and orange. I'm Cheryl Wilm again. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm again. So that, you know, people don't feel like they're, you know, buying too much or something. <laughs> oh, that's my Cheryl. She never, Cheryl never gets enough. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Oh, this one's cute. I'm going to use both hands to close this because it is pretty delicate. I'm so glad it has a good home. I was afraid that it was going to fall apart on the shelf before I figured out what to do with it. Oh, and I didn't put anything for you to look at. Whoopsie. All right, Enchanted Isles. This hey, one. Just a sure. Barb, I want Cracker Barrel Fried Chicken. Mmm. I don't want that little red fried chicken because, ew. I think after we do, we've got like three more books that are five, you guys. And I think after that, let's um, do some other things for a bit. I've got some more books that are, um, I've got a couple that actually, I will be honest, are pretty pricey because I had to pay a lot for them, but they're awfully cool. Oh, yeah, you guys, we're doing this by what Jessica sees first on her stream. Um, we all have different lags. My lag is terrible. Um, I will show you that I just put my hand on the book. And there you go. That's how long my lag is. So we're, just to be fair, we're going by one, per what, one person, and that's Jessica, what she sees first. So if you guys get missed... Um, you're not really being missed. That's what's happening. Was that clear at all? I feel like I'm babbling. Okay, time for water. Jessica, I was saying earlier that I have been so thirsty today. I don't know why, but my mouth is super dry. It's like my 20th glass of water, and it really is water. And I told these guys not to be smart, Alex. I need to make some coffee when we get done here. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Go make coffee. I got it. No, it's okay. What, how many more uh, $5 books do you have? Three more after this. Here, I'll, I'll get it going okay. here. So, no. Let's take a short break and I'll make my coffee and you guys can chit chat and then I'll be back. Awesome. That is nine by seven. And it is, this belonged to Jennifer Dodson in 1970. So, again, I guess that is vintage now. But I loved the pages. So there's black and white, they're color pages, they're that black and orange thing going on. And there, there are, there is that black and orange thing. Uh, but the pages are very matte. 
So this really feels like copy paper and this would make such a cool altered book, I think. Or <laughs> Jessica's favorite thing to do, fussy cutting. Candy, California doesn't have Cracker Barrels. I thought California had everything candy. Hey, Minxie. Thanks for making it. If I'm missing saying hi to anybody, I'm sorry. This is the only second time that I've done this, and doing more than one thing at a time confuses me. And apparently I can't speak either. Okay, I have Myrna on that one. Myrna! Myrna's enchanted! Yes, you are, Myrna. Very enchanted. All right, so here's the next one. This one's really cool, too. I, I've not heard of this, and I'm wondering if it was sort of a version of Childcraft. It's called um, The Bookshelf for Boys and Girls. And this is issue seven, which is Nature, Recreation, and Physical Development. And that's all in gold. It's pretty. It's really heavy and solid. And this one is almost 10 by seven and a half. And the picture in the middle, it's actually debossed around like this box is um, indented. And then it's got the, the picture on it, which I think is really cool. And that's the inside. This one's a little glossier, but it has really cool pages. So you've got drawings and, oh, a page coming out. Um, that's a drawing. There are photographs. And it's all kinds of different nature-y stuff. Here's, um, what do we call that? It's outer space, Brooke. Yes, it is. Speaking of outer space. Hey, Roy. <gasps> Kristen is here, too. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Kristen. Is Susan still here? Susan Bird. Put a bird on it. Sheila, you can't leave me. I'm so excited that Roy got here. So nice to see you, Roy. Thank you. Okay, I have Renee. Hey, Renee. Thank you. If I didn't say hi to you already, hi. See, I told you Mary Englebright gets on me, too. I don't know why. Mary Englebright and Raggedy Ann. Every place I go, lousy with them. And now it entertains me endlessly to send candy pictures of all the Raggedy Ann's I see. All right, so this is Mary Englebright's A Merry Little Christmas, Celebrate from A to Z. And the illustrations, illustrations are adorable. So I thought that was pretty fun. I'm not a huge, I don't not like her, but, um, you know, I don't go out of my way for her, but this is really cute. Yeah, that is cute. So, that is the Mary Englebright. She is 11 and a half by 8 and a half, and it's pretty thin. Quarter of an inch. Okay, I have Cheryl Wells. Thank you, Cheryl. Good thing you started making videos, you guys. Cheryl, did your video go up? What are you guys all up to? We'll, um, when Jessica makes her coffee, we'll see what everybody else is doing. Okay, so go on my coffee. Nope, one more. Da da da. Fooled you. Okay. <laughs> Fooled you, tricked you. This is a Reader's Digest book. And if Susan's still here, this was one that I was thinking you might enjoy. Unfortunately, I had two bird field guides that I thought I was going to put on tonight. And when I opened them, the insides of them had gotten wet, oddly, not the outsides. So surprise to me, the pages were all stuck together and they didn't smell that great, frankly. So they didn't make the cut tonight. But this is the last $5 one, Jess. ABCs of Nature, a family answer book. So if your family is looking for answers, this is the book for you. Oh no, Carla, you lost power. But you're here, thank you. This is kind of glossy. Oh, look, and it's got illustrations and photographs and just so much cool stuff. 
Why don't birds get tired? So isn't that pretty? The colors are just gorgeous in this. Flowers, animals, plants, all that nature stuff. Potatoes. I always think of potatoes when I'm talking about nature. What did they do? They put a bird on it. Barb, just tell them you don't know. That's my answer to everything. I don't know. And I will measure that one for you guys. Jane here. Oh, Susan, yay, yeah, you got it. I'm so glad. That's Susan. That's who I tricked. Susan? Yeah, I, I lured her here with bird books that didn't happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry, 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 dry. All right, Jessica, that's it for the for the books for right now. So go make your coffee and okay, I'll be right back. excellent. So now you guys, this is a great time for you to tell what's going on in your world. Um, live streams, sales, what's going on in your shop? <coughs> I'm just gonna choke. <coughs> no worries. I'm looking for something interesting to put out there. This is a funny book I found. But now we can chat. Oh, bye, Elle. I hope you, hope you can come back. Oh, Margie, you have been making a lot of vet visits. Nikki, what's a crumb block? Hey, Deb. We're just chatting for a minute while Jessica makes her coffee because I woke her up. You go, okay. Who do you design team for? I know the answer to that, but I can't remember. This was in a bottom, uh, the bottom of a box of stuff I bought. I didn't even know it was there. And I'm sorry I'm slugging water down because now I'm gonna start coughing. Oh, Kristen has two Halloween journals in her shop and a craft room tour. That's rock, paper, treasure. And Roy is working on a crumb quilt this morning, but I don't know what it is. Someone tell me what a crumb quilt is. Hmm. Oh, that sounds fun, Nikki. Okay, I, I didn't know that you were on Tsunami Rose's design team. Congrats, that's cool. I love her stuff. Cheryl's working on a Sunflower Journal, and is that the one that you posted on your channel? Cheryl, the Sunflower. And Renee's been eco-dying. I can't do that. I don't have the patience and it smells weird. But it looks so beautiful when everyone else does it. Oh, I'm buffering. Are you guys buffering? And I am gulping down water. Please excuse me. I'm so excited that you're here, Kristen. Is your bronchitis finally gone? Okay, I'm back pretty much. Oh, oh right. Oh, we got a little buffer, but it looks like I'm back here. So we were admiring how to draw cats and everyone was telling us what was going on in their shops and whatnot. Right on. Selena. Selena's had a bad, I'm sorry. You okay? I forgot my spoon. <laughs> That's fine, we'll live. Oh, Crafty Chris is working on Halloween journals. You guys should subscribe to each other if you, um, oh, welcome back, Elizabeth. Oh, you're eating bread, I want bread. I, something about the computer makes me hungry. Um, if you hover over someone's name to the right, there'll be three little dots. If you click on those dots, it will tell you if somebody has a YouTube channel and you can go right there to subscribe if you'd like to without losing this stream. And I didn't know that until like a month ago. So now I like to tell people like I'm wicked smart. So, How much is this book? I wasn't going to sell it. I just put it there so we could look at a cat. I could, I, I, if someone would like it, I could sell the How to Draw a Cat book for $3. Look how cute. 
I like its whiskers. I did not just draw in the How to Draw a Cat book. They actually make it look easy. We all know that's a lie. <laughs> so cute. Oh, Selena! Out of nowhere! Thank you very much, honey. Okay, so I think... What should we do next, Jessica? I've got some... Oh, I know. These are really cool. These are something that I was very excited to find. These are vintage um, button samples. Really vintage. And it's what the salesman would take into a store to sell the store button displays. And the buttons are gorgeous. They are so detailed. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but they're big and they're solid and they are so detailed. And I've never seen anything like these. And this one looks like it was a lot of fire department buttons. So I don't know, like a manufacturer or something. But I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Jessica, I guess we should do one card at a time, and I'm going to do $4 on each card, plus shipping. Okay, right, so do them number one, number two, number three, like that? Works for me. Okay. So I guess this one will be number one. I got Selena. Oh, boy. Lena's on fire tonight. Okay. Thank you, Selena. Okay, this is number two. This one also has a lot of fire department buttons on it. I think, are we zoomed in? Oh, wait, I'm buffering. Hopefully I'm not. I know you do, Selena. Hold, hold on and wait till you see what comes up next. This is the second one. This also has a lot of fire department um, buttons and they're really heavy. I don't know if they're solid or what, but this card weighs a lot. So those are pretty cool, I think. So that's number two. Can I have Renee? Yay, Renee, thank you. I know you like buttons too. This one's smaller, but that um, center, well, it's not smaller, obviously, but there are more buttons missing. But I don't know if you can tell how crazy sparkly the one in the middle is. It's just beautiful and it's big, I mean, taking it over to the measuring stick here. It's almost two inches, just this one. So then they have it, this one has kind of a crest on it and there's a skier for some unknown reason. So I thought that one was cool. So that's gonna be number three. I thought this was pretty cool find. You guys, I'm going to step outside for one second and blow my nose so that it doesn't make your head explode. Um, I don't know. Allergies are kicking in or something. I'll be right back. Here, I'll put this one to the side and you can admire this one. There are two more crests on that one as well. Great, I'm blowing my nose. My dog is coughing his face off. We're just a riot around here. All right, so this was number three, and this one is number four. Oh, bye, Elle. Thank you for coming. Come back. You guys should all subscribe to Never Hopeless by Elizabeth. She's got an amazing channel. She's a lot of fun. Oh. So, uh, Lena. <laughs> Thank you, Lena. Roy is saying that postal, postal prices is going up next year, or is going up. How's college treating you there, Brooke? Are going up next year? All right, guys, the next couple are going to be $5. They've got, um, I paid more than I should have for these, sorry. <laughs> I'm passing the buck, so to speak, but they've got a ton of buttons on them. And they actually have they actually have the little cards. Elegant buttons. Guaranteed washable and ironable. Well, that's something. So that one's number five at five dollars, just when you're ready.
Dorinda, did they just raise the prices? <laughs> Selena, it's the books. Hey, Paula. Paula. I didn't see you come in, Paula. Thank you and welcome. Alrighty, and then the next one is this one, which is super old and cool. The buttons are white, or they were white, and they are a little dirty, but I didn't want to try to wash them because I didn't want to ruin the cardboard. So just so that you're aware, it says 48 cards is a cabinet, evenly assorted sizes and patterns. So I just think that's the coolest thing ever. Jessica, I lost count. Is that number six? Yeah, it must be, huh? Yeah. That one's five as well. Thank you. I love coming across new things. Have you ever seen these, Jessica? Um, no, no. I mean, I have a couple of um, big button cards like that, so I guess I have, but I didn't know that's what they were. Oh, like, yep. I thought they were somebody that collected them. Oh, they could be, because people are nutty. Um, button collectors too, like stamps. People pay huge money for something. I don't know what. I don't know what makes them special. But all right, so that one we're gonna set aside, and this one will be number seven, and this one is five as well. They're little flowers. I'm just rearranging stuff, guys. I know it sounds like I'm in a tunnel because I'm in my kitchen. Oh, that's crooked. How annoying. There, that's better. When you're ready, Jessica, that one will be five as well. Okay. Regina. Thanks, Regina. I thought those were pretty cool, you guys. Let me see. I think that's all I have that really have any buttons on them whatsoever. This one has a cameo on it. Um, you know what, Jess? I think maybe these don't have as many buttons on them. So maybe we'll do like these three for $5. And I can take these off the cards if you guys want to ship them, obviously, because that would be a little cheaper. Lena, you are always doing that. That's so funny. Regina, what are you cooking? It's dinner time. Bring me some. <laughs> All right, moving along. Um, oh, how about coffee dyed paper? That'll be fun. The nice old man has learned how to coffee dye. I've put the boots to him. Not really. He's just as nice. But... He, he has been coffee dyeing his little head off. So this is a bundle of 35 assorted pieces of coffee dyeing. Some are dark, some are light, some have patterns, some don't. They're awesome. And it was all hand dyed and tied up with string by the nice old man himself. So each packet will have this long um, ledger paper. That's not ledger paper. Yes, it's ledger paper. So there are seven pages of the ledger folded in half. Then this is smaller than computer paper. It's this really, um, it's folded. So, I mean, it's bigger than computer paper, but it's, um, help me. Composition book, there we go. I found my word. I'm a big girl. So there's one, two, three, four of those. And then this is, oh, this is actually um, 
old resume paper that I found at the Goodwill that had this, it was supposed to look like mulberry paper or something printed on there. And so he coffee dyed that and it came out really cool. So there are two, I guess just two of those. And this is cotton paper. It's um, old timey typewriter paper. It's 25% cotton. It's not onion skin. It's very much like copy paper, but it's not. You can tell that um, the difference between that and the, the regular computer paper. And then he got fancy and he did some with stencils. So some of the color came off the stencil. I just think they came out beautifully. Doesn't that look cool? So he had fun. He put his engineering brain to it and got right into it. And the dog did not help. And it's nice and crinkly. And here's some of the lighter ones. And they're darker ones. I just think it came out great. So it's 35 pages. And those will be $15 a package. Courtesy. I have... I know the answer to this. we got 10 of them, Jessica. And obviously, you guys, they're not going to be identical. But that is a very reasonable sampling of what you get. So you get all these guys. Oh, I forgot about these big ones. You get three of these. And this is um, lined paper. That's all in one sheet. Oh, cool. Thanks, Lena. Barb, didn't he do a nice job? He was into it too. He wasn't going to give up until he figured it out. And then he tied them up in those cute little bundles. I'll have to retie that and you know it won't be good. I won't do a good job. All right. Stuff that doesn't sell, guys, will be going in the shop eventually. It will be higher price. We're doing um, a bigger a bigger discount tonight since you guys are here and I think I just put my scary head under the camera. Close your eyes. Save yourselves. I'm not going to try to tie that up. I won't do it right. So we'll just move it. Oh, nothing. oh, okay. Thanks, Darla. It's like art. Hand signed by the nice old man. Not really. Um, let's see. I know. It's cool. And he got into it. He had the dog in here and he had the music going. He was he was loving it. There. So these are uh, playing card packets. They're 54 playing cards, vintage and not. I went to a really cool antique store a couple weeks ago and this guy had stacks, literally stacks of boxes of playing cards that he bought from a collector. And I was telling Jessica and Patty that um, there was one brown paper box all at the bottom and it was all wrapped up in old paper. And so I was wondering, wow, those must be really old and cool. And I dug them out and opened them. Yeah, they were really old. They were pornography playing cards. Imagine my surprise after spending 20 minutes looking at kitties and puppies. And they were something else. And apparently they're very collectible. The guy in the store was thrilled when I gave them to him. I was like, I don't think you want to leave those out here for, you know, everyone to look at just in case. <laughs> oh, and I ripped our pretty sticker. Oh, well. All right. So this, um, these, Jessica, are going to be... Um, four dollars and I've got 12 of them and okay. th there are um, 54 cards in each one. Oh, and I left nothing for you to look at oh I gotta get better about that sorry guys so I'll go through real quickly this is a game card and there are two of these and two of those the royal cards apparently we have a theme going here two of these sort of um, Toll painting looking ones. Then here's some trains and some other trains, two of each of those. Here's some vintage scenery and some horses. Cowboys, yay! That's not a cowboy, it's a farmer. I lied. 
puppies and kittens. And these are neat because they're um, a little bit smaller, but they also have a matte finish instead of a shiny one. And here's more puppies and kitties. A depressed looking boy. A confused looking girl. I thought she was sitting on the potty for a minute. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Barbara. This is a tiny, um, I can't remember the name of this game, Jessica. Do you remember the name of that? I don't. These are um, edu cards. I guess you put them together to make like a drawing or a picture. Then this is um, Snap. Is that Snap? An I Spy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Chip and Dale, they're vintage Disney cards. These I thought were super cute. They're just regular playing cards. Another one of those jumped in. Some fall colors, which are nice. That's a, a scene from Maine. Those are like, you know, um, scenic views of Maine. Then I've got this cool Asian inspired. Got that guy. A little deer. Owls, two different owls. This one is a really fun game the girls and I used to play in the car called Rubberneckers. Um, it's a whole deck of cards and you deal out cards to everybody and it's things to look for and you get points and it, the, it used to crack the girls up. Then, uh, you know, what is wrong with me? I have totally lost my words. Selena was just talking about this the other day when you get on live and all your words leave you. It's true, it happens. It's like, I just expect it. Flashcards. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. And this is just some game. I just thought I like the typeface on it. Another flashcard, a different one. This one is a postcard sort of dealio. And then these are from a game as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not a game. Those are educational cards. And that's what these are. Little fun yeah, facts. I do. And if any of those cards you like and you'd like more than one or two, rather than getting the whole pack, just shoot me a message on Etsy because almost all of these, except for the flashcards, I have, you know, the whole pack or close to the whole pack. This is the first time I've really busted them out much. I just couldn't stop. If I can read right now. Okay. Um, Let me write them down. Like that, you know, and Myrna would like a deck or a pack. Um, Myrna and Darla. Alrighty. Thanks, you guys. I think you'll have fun with them. I just couldn't stop buying them. And then Sheila, too. Oh, okay. Thanks, Sheila. Anybody want a second pack? Can't beat four dollars. Selena. Lena. Cool. Thank you. And again, they will be going in the shop, guys, but not at these prices. I figure this way we can avoid the middleman, you know? Pass on the savings. All right, so I'll scoop these back up and try to make them not so messy. I just, there were so many cute cards. I could have bought 500 decks of cards. Okay, Lena wants two decks, actually. I'm calling them decks because that's... Works for me. They're cards. They are. They're, I don't think you could play much of a game with these decks, but yes, I understand what you're saying. All right, so I'll write down two for Lena. Oh, and I didn't leave anything interesting for you. Man, how do you remember to do that, Jessica? Oh, oh let's see, that's six down, right? Two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, so you've got four more of them, right? I do. Okay. So let's move along. Wow. I'm going to, let's do a Christmas kit. I've got some Christmas kits. Okay, Lena wants the other four that you have. Oh. <laughs> All right, Lena. You got it. Thank you. The variety is fun, isn't it? And that way you don't have to um, buy 20 packs to have 20 different cards. I'm just putting these away so I don't forget, guys. The attention span of a nap. All right, so this is a Christmas kit. 
Oh, and Selena, um, shoot me a text afterwards if you want more cards, because I was saying, other than the flash cards, which I'm running low on, I have most of those. I have the whole deck. Hey, Amy. Welcome. Angie, I'm not sure where I got it. I bought, I've been buying cards forever, so I can't, I'm sure it was at a vintage store or, you know, vintage fair or something. I have no luck at Goodwill anymore at all. Lena, you're already out of labels. <laughs> well, I can hook you up. Lena bought um, packaging labels for me, Jess. They came out so cute with her little logo on them. And it's like my recreations ones. Um, but we put Lena's shop name on them and they came out so cute. So anyway, um, yes, shoot me a text about all that and we'll hook you up, Selena. All right, so this is the Christmas kit, and these are going to be, I'm going to say $20 for tonight. They will not be $20 in the shop if there are any left. I could not stop adding stuff. So this is the paper part. You get a beautiful piece of ribbon uh, that is long enough to do something with. These are not identical, but they're very similar. Obviously, with book pages and stuff, they're not going to be exact, but they're the same number of items, the same length and very similar. So starting out with the fabrics, let me just pull this off here. We've got a piece of wedding dress. Does that look familiar, Patty? Uh, I will tell you this is the bottom part of a wedding dress, the hem, and this, this bride partied. So um, there are, on some of the pieces, all of the pieces actually, there will be some dirt along this bottom edge but I didn't want to try to wash it and have any of the bead work come off. And I thought a lot of you would be dyeing it or doing something to it anyway. So I just left it alone so the beads would all be there. So you get that little piece of that. And look, Selena, it's hairy ball trim. You get a yard of sparkly white silver fur ball trim. And you get a yard of this sort of gold and silvery looking metallic trim. Then you get a piece of tool, which obviously you can't see. Can you kind of see it there? And this is about two feet and it's dark green. Then you get a plain white vintage linen of some sort. Um, they all will have pretty trimming and some sort of embroidery, but it's all white. So it's, I don't know, I, this must be a hanky. And those will vary a little bit from pack to pack, but you will get something like that. And then there's the Santa tablecloth from the 40s. Look at this. I pulled this one out because this one actually does have a couple wear holes in it. This tablecloth has been around forever. Um, but I did cut it into 10 pieces, which hurt me. I don't know how you do it all the time, Selena. Roy, do you really? How are you not up there chopping the wedding dresses apart? Um, so at any rate, yeah, this one does have these little holes. I hope you can see them. Most of them do not, but I wanted to point out that the one that you get Santa, but you also get the little holes right there. All right, so that's the fabric portion. And then for paper, you get... I don't know what score pad this is. It's honors and tricks. I don't know if that's bridge. Maybe it is. A little glassine bag and a little glassine envelope. You get, of course, because it's not a work kit if you don't get vintage greeting cards. I swear they are reproducing in my basement. It's crazy. So you get three of those. And again, those will vary from kit to kit, collection to collection. Note paper, more note paper, Christmas lists, more note paper, cute bags, one's a candy cane and one's merry and bright, um, a holly doily and a plain white doily. This will vary from kit to kit. You'll get one of each pattern, but it might be opposite sizes. This is a vintage linen, uh, luncheon napkin. They're made in Germany and I thought it was so beautiful with the twall pattern on it, and it's good sized. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. I'm not, 
uh, Christmas napkins, I never really find any that I like. I mean, sometimes at the store today, but not older ones. And I just thought those were beautiful. And this is hysterical. These are vintage. I had to fold it, you guys. I'm sorry. They do iron flat if you don't like that fold. These are vintage Thanksgiving um, doilies. I found boxes. I've got vintage Easter doilies and vintage St. Patrick's doilies. And there's just a stack in there because they're hard to peel apart. Uh, but I just put that in because some people like to start their December daily right at Thanksgiving. And I just thought those were hysterical. Then there's a little golden book, which again will vary from uh, kit to kit because it's not a brook kit if it doesn't have a little golden book. So how much wood is left in the driveway? There is a page from a Peanuts book. These are really cool. They are, it's a book that I found, at, maybe at the Goodwill, um, but it's just... Christmas card list and special foods, recipes, and baked goods. I thought it was kind of fun. Not terribly vintage. It looks like 1998. But I thought those were fun. And you'll get those four pages. Laura, Bat Cop is here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Then there is a Christmas music page. So it's actually you know, two pages, but some of them came out of the book whole and some did not, but you will get two pages. This I really thought was fun. This is a 1911 home needlework magazine, and this is actually the magazine. It's not a reproduction, um, and it was the Christmas edition. So you'll get two pages of that as well. So again, some came out still attached, and I left them that way for you, but some of them are actually two separate pages gifts for the traveler because you mustn't leave home without a long skinny corset bag. Ooh, bad enough to wear a corset. I didn't know it had to have its own bag. Another book that I thought was really fun, Christmas in the year something, and you get to write that in. And then it's just notes. You can make all kinds of notes about Christmas. So I thought that one was kind of fun. So there's that. And of course there's a page from the Grinch Who Stole Christmas, because, you know, that says it all. A vintage coloring book page. None of them are colored. Then there is just a children's writing tablet page. A piece of, this is really neat. Um, this is a vellum strip. It's like a border strip. I don't, maybe you can see it better. And those patterns, they're all these kind of colors, but they're different patterns. So that will vary from thing to thing, from kit to kit, but I thought those were kind of fun. And then there's a piece of coffee dyed something, and I like how this one came out because of the stripe and the red dye transferred from another sheet, and I thought that looked kind of cool. Then just a scallop piece of craft paper. This is pretty lightweight. A time card, because why not? Two ledger pages. Did I say this was 20? Am I insane? Wow, yeah, huh. Piece of acetate. I found a box of acetate um, at a thrift store, and I thought, well, when are you not making shaker cards? Right? Everyone's making shaker cards again, so that would be fun. Just a book page. Stop it. This is from Margie. Margie, are you back from your phone call? Because this page is for you. Hi, Fern. Welcome. Laura number three, yay! This is extremely cool. I found five rolls of vintage gift wrap from a jewelry store. And I was so excited. And I did have to fold it again, but it will iron out if you don't like the folds. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is two shades of green and a stripe, like a real dark green. And then this one is this crazy red, green, and gold. So I thought that was a really fun find. The other ones are very springy, and I'll be putting some in the shop eventually. But I just thought this was so nifty. So you get those two pieces of vintage wrapping paper. Another, I'm sorry, Jess, that? Yeah. Another book page. This is, um, actually there are two pages from a magazine that we won't say, but I'm sure you guys recognize it. And then this is the coolest thing. These 
Each kit has one of these. It's called a Cartolina Gigantesca, something like that. They're all um, postcards of Rome. And it's all they're all different postcards, obviously, one in each set, but um, they're all of Rome, and I just thought those were really fun. This is a page of player piano paper, which I thought was kind of fun. And then um, finally, paper-wise, this is Blue Fern Studios Vintage Christmas Kit 1 and 2. You get an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, and if you've never had their cardstock, it's really nice and heavy. It's just beautiful, and it's double-sided. And you will get a strip of cut-aparts, and then you'll get a couple just cut-offs for doing whatever with. So that's all the paper. Are you guys bored out of your mind yet? listening to me talk. Nikki, don't be confused. There are always lots of Lauras and they're all super fabulous. Sorry guys, I'm having trouble scraping it up off the counter. And then this is just a little goodie bag. I cannot believe I said this would be $20. Seriously, if you want one of these, get it tonight because they're going to be um, higher than that in the shop. <laughs> All right, so in the bit bag are, coincidentally, bits, old and new. Um, this is some shaped paper clips, some vintage red and green buttons, some little bulbs, uh, Tim Holtz. Jingle Bell Brads. I don't want to take it out because it hits the counter and they will go everywhere and I'll lose someone's stuff. There's a little snowman button, a couple beads, a Jingle Bell. So that's what's in the little bag. And then in this medium-sized bag, you've got some paper flowers, a 1961 um, Christmas seal, some postage, um, some Tim Holtz words. Let's move this starting to bug me. All right. Then I found at an estate sale, somebody had, was, Jessica, I think they might have been related to you because they were a wicked fussy cutter. And they had taken all of their Christmas cards and recycled them and cut bits out of them like this stove. And then they cut them apart and made gift cards. But this is from an old Christmas card. Isn't that so cute? Someone worked really hard on this, so I just thought that was adorable. This one's all cut out, and then there's another one of the little cards they made from a card. So the, I thought those were super cute. Tim Holtz, um, you get two of these little cards, and some more postage. This funny little envelope, I think this came from Michael's or something, but it's a pocket, and I thought that was cute. Here are some more, oh, that's right, you get five Christmas seals and a recipe card that is not vintage, obviously. And then a couple playing cards. So there's a Merry Christmas and with I Santa. Have I have 10 of these. Okay. And that is it. You guys must be totally in love with me now. <laughs> oh no, Jessica, you hung up on me. Jessica hung up on us, guys. <laughs> I better write down before we call her. Hey, Emily. <laughs> I thought you were just bored out of your mind. That was just it. Bye bye. Hi, Betty. I didn't see you come in. And then, uh, so you've got three. So Cynthia, Cheryl Wilm, and uh, Betty Lovelace. Cool. Thanks, guys. Emily, how you doing? Your order went out today. I've just been yakking. We're just yakking away. Wow, something's happening. <laughs> something's happening. Like that. Oh, my Fitbit is telling me that you're calling now, Jess. It was having like some sort of attack on my wrist. Say yeah. what? My, my Fitbit was just saying that you were calling and oh. it was having some kind of mental breakdown on my wrist. I don't know why. <laughs> It made it go crazy. All right, you guys, so I'm going to pack this up. Yeah, this is going to be um, more in the shop. So 
This is the time if you're interested. I cannot believe I put all this tiny stuff down and it doesn't want to come up. I don't know how you do it with your nails, Kristen. Kristen at Rock Paper Treasure has long, gorgeous nails. All right, so let's get this out of the way. I'm reaching. Excuse my reach. I love that little golden book. Look, look at his little face. He's crazy. All right, so we'll get that out of the way. What do you guys want to do? What do you think we should do, Jessica? Uh, I don't know. I've got... Fabric, I don't have any fabric tonight. Mm. Isn't that weird? I have... All I have is like cut off pieces and I didn't sort them up. Um, I have, I have a build a bundle that's weird. It's an I'm not a hoarder build a, build -a bundle. <laughs> oh, and then I tripped over the stool and left nothing for you guys to look at. All right, let's do one of those. That'll be fun. Selena had asked if I would do some more I'm not a hoarder kits. And I never got around to it, and I thought of this kind of late, like at 4 o'clock this afternoon. So I've only got five. Amy, I do have buttons. We'll do those next. I've got like real buttons. Kelsey, I don't have any tonight, but there's some in my shop. Some Christmas card sets. Regina, more stuff. It's so nice to see you, Joan. Thanks for coming. You guys are so awesome. So sweet of you. And thank you for modding, Jessica. I don't think I thanked you. Aw, you're welcome. Thanks for being nice to me today. <laughs> don't get used to it. <clears throat> it, it, won't, it won't go on, you know. So this is, this is what I was thinking. Hold on, I'm going to move a stool over. I'm really far away from my computer, so I have to walk a couple steps over to see what's going on. And I keep missing people talking. So if I'm missing all the cool stuff, make sure I know. All right, so what I was thinking with these is I've noticed lately in um, some of the live streams and on Jessica's Facebook group that there are a lot of new people um, that are just starting out journaling. And so I was thinking, huh, why don't we do an I'm not a hoarder kit that would be a good place for people to start, you know, just having a variety of stuff if you're new. Or if you're sick of your own stuff, you can have some new stuff to play with, but it's not a ton. So that was my theory on the I'm not a hoarder build a bundle. And this is my base pile. And when we are done with the base pile, I'll start putting stuff on. And what I have is weird ephemera, honestly. It's a box of stuff I bought as a box lot and I couldn't figure out how to sort it or categorize it because it's just all these different things. So we're going to start with the base and then we're going to throw some weird ephemera in. How does that sound? Pretty fun, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! So in the base, there is a map page. Oh, and I should probably... Weird ephemera. The weird ephemera. Mm -hmm. Lena, you are a, a hoarder. But you should have this, then you won't be one. Uh, and I should probably tell you, it's going to be $20. So we're going to start with this bundle and then just start putting ephemera on it. There is... Do you want me to put it in? Or? Um, yeah, maybe wait until I, get, I show the base pile. Okay. And then with the base pile, I'll, I'll, I'll enter it. And after that, then it'll be up for grabs. Perfect. So okay. th this is a test piece of coffee dyeing from the nice old man. It didn't make his cut to be in the in the stacks. More acetate because yes, I got acetate. Two sheets in here. Okay, wait one second. How much is your build a bundle going up to? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Okay. Yep. So does everybody understand how that works then? Can you guys hear Jess? Yeah, I probably should have explained that. Okay, so she's gonna put out the base pile, right? And then she's going to just start adding things to it after I enter it in the chat. And then um, when you feel like the pile that's there is worth twenty dollars to you, you enter your you enter me in the chat, and that way you can claim it. Um, so the idea is that you know you want to get it kind of as much as 
you can, but at the same time, you don't necessarily want other people to get it if there's things in there that you really want. So that's the idea. And it's not including shipping, right? For right. Nothing's including shipping. What I'll do at the end of the sale is um, bundle everything that you purchased and figure out the cheapest way to, to ship it for you. And then you'll have an Etsy listing by tomorrow, um, a custom order for you in your name. I will tell you that things will not be shipped until Monday um, because my post office closes at 12 on Saturday. And I don't really like to rush before noon. It makes me sad. I smell you, pepperoni. <laughs> so you guys good? That was a great explanation. Thank you, Jessica. All right, so this is just more of that cool scalloped paper. I think this might be like from Joanne or something. I just like the weight of it and I like the shape. This is a page from a vintage stock ledger. And it's, let's see, I think it was 1942 or something like that. And let's see, let's, let's just move this along, shall we? Oh gosh, we've been on for an hour and a half. This is one of the um, ledger pages from that beautiful ledger that I have that it's really brittle. Uh, and these are ones that sort of got destroyed when I was taking the book apart, but it'll be wonderful for collaging. I did fold it because it's very long. <laughs> so um, a couple pages from an Alice and Jerry book. Seashell field guide, another field guide page. A page out of a... Um, Shorthand book. My God, I really have lost all my words. That's a shame. <laughs> three, of, three of those fun um, Betty Crocker cookbook cards. A random bird card, because you cannot have enough. This is a very old receipt, and this is an original. It's not a reproduction from 19 teens somewhere, because it's got a one. This is a really cool inventory rack card or inventory card. Two little um, vocabulary cards, an old bingo card, old like maybe 10 years, they're, I don't think they're vintage. Then there'll be some kind of tiny book, a teletale or something, and these are definitely cutters, you guys. They're not in good shape, they're ones I wouldn't sell, but they've got beautiful illustration. Oh look, this one has already been taken apart for you, deconstructed while you wait. But it's got great pictures, so that would be fun for pages in a journal or for cutting out or whatever. Hey, can you imagine? We have vintage greeting cards. So there'll be two birthday cards, I'm sorry, three birthday cards, and these are vintage. And I think they all are birthday. And this really pretty embroidered napkin. These are all, every build a bundle will have the same um, napkin in it because I got a big set of them. Isn't that pretty? Somebody worked really hard on that cross stitch. So I thought that was really pretty. And some little, just little bits and pieces. This is from, I think it's 1920, uh, date book. Some of them are written, oh no, it's 1906. Some of them are written upon and some are not. A auto, an automobile record book. Receipt, not vintage, this is new. Bingo card, not vintage, this is new and really flimsy, but it looks cool in collages. A clue um, score sheet, or you know, clue, clue sheet, a clue clue sheet, is that what it's called? Hmm. I don't know. Um, detective notebook sheet. Uh, did I what to him? A detective notebook sheet? Yes, a detective notebook sheet. So you can use it in your junk journals or if you want to become a detective, you're on your way multi-purpose. Um, Edith Holden book page. This is vintage, vintage, vintage stationery that my good friend Samantha found. This is a cotton finish with the decal edges and a matching envelope, which I thought was just so cool. And then this is really beautiful writing paper, very smooth and it's just lovely, sort of aged around the edges. This is a vintage receipt. You'll get either a receipt or um, some of them are like, uh, this one is for someone who paid their property taxes and it'll be some sort of vintage receipty type of thing. 
and a piece of very brittle music paper. Um, again, I did fold it because it's oversized. Um, this could probably go in a signature if you reinforce the spine, but I would probably tend to use this for collaging. Um, but what did someone call it the other night? It's very music-y. That's why I like uh, yeah. it. It's, it's for the... Is that what you said? Someone said it. Yeah, someone, I really like the ones that are music-y. Maybe it was you. But this yeah. is for the piano forte, which I find to always be very music-y. Uh-oh, is Margie causing trouble? And Corinne is here. Hi, Corinne, sweetie. I can't look up. Okay, and I'm going to enter this in the chat, you guys. So whenever you feel like it's $20 worth you, then enter, your, then enter me. Yep, and this is what you start out with. And honestly, it's kind of a lot of stuff. So um, yeah. hopefully the weirdness of the ephemera will appeal to you, and you'll have a nice little either a new stash or a stash refresher. Let me get the box of weirdness. Oh. <laughs> and that's exactly what this stuff is, guys, is it's a box of weirdness. I'm putting it on my stool. Um, I bought, as I said, a couple of box lots of stuff, and I just got tired of trying to sort it. So I'm going to start at the beginning and start putting stuff in. We have a crossword puzzle dictionary. That is so cute. Nice pages. They're not real thin like dictionary pages. And it has this very handy plastic cover. We have, I like the pages in here a lot. We have the dentist cleaning your teeth and smoking simultaneously. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. American 1966 American Guidance Service. No idea. It's funny though. Oh, hey, now we're talking. We've got, I don't know how many, vintage Easter doilies. <laughs> Those, I, I don't know why I bought them. Oh, they, cute. Aren't they funny? And then I put a stack down. I know. It, it, I, I thought the colors were really cute, but it's so weird. They're so big. So again, guys, I'll probably fold this depending on how big our stack gets, but they iron beautifully. Um, it just will make it easier to go into an envelope. And because you think the bunnies are cute, let's have a giant stack of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I think there are probably at least 10 doilies of each pattern. I love those. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I did too. I thought that was, uh, they were hiding in, in like the bottom of this barn and the boxes are destroyed and I couldn't figure out what they were. And when I pulled them out, I was so excited. So there are some Thanksgiving ones. Oh, here we go. Um, got some different kind of stuff here. I think I'm going to take a pass on that stuff. We have a postcard. We have another postcard. We have pages torn out of museum catalogs, which are absolutely gorgeous. These are, um, they feel like, kind of like book pages, but they're blank on the back. And they're just absolutely beautiful. And a piece of tissue. It's like, um, I almost wonder if it was a guidebook for someone's trip to London or it, and they cut it apart, but I don't know why it would be blank. So maybe you bought the whole set like postcards, but they're not postcard weight. So maybe for framing. May, oh yeah, maybe. We got a bunch of those. And they're all London. And I'm just gonna put the stack down because I got a lot. Here's some. Oh. Those are cute. We'll put another stack down because I like those. So there's that. What else do we have in this box of weird ephemera? Hey, we have a ninth commencement from Malden Catholic High School, 1944. It's the and program. Cheryl, yay! Thank you, Cheryl. I want coconut bunny cake. Wait, who's making cake? Cake. And Laura's here. Laura, did I see you before? Am I having some weird flashback? Thank you very much, Cheryl. You guys want to do another one like that? Give 
do it up. Cool. All right, let me put Cheryl's name on this one. I'm going to put it back in its giant Ziploc so I don't lose any of your goodies. I'll try to make it a little neater than that when you get it, Cheryl. <laughs> I just don't want to lose your goodies. That was a good deal, Cheryl. Nice. I think it's super fun too and you know I find that in cool books like the shorthand books I don't have enough pages left to make a set for the um, shop or anything and I hate having four or five pages left so this works out really well I think and that way you guys don't have to be hoarders yay you all right what is that little blue book? that's gonna be the next um the next thing to go in a bundle <laughs> See, I remembered to put something down anyway. All right. Okay, so that base pack that she started with the last time. Yep. Plus this little book and whatever else she puts out there. So I'm going to put it in the chat. And we're going to start putting stuff in. That's the, the base bundle is here. And I'm going to start throwing some weird ephemera out. And if it's worth $20 to you, say me. And again, I've got some of those beautiful pictures and they're all different but it would appear to be all in England. And a pictorial card. That one's beautiful. Yeah, what is that book? We want to know. Oh, I'm sorry. I read it, so I assume that you did too. <laughs> it's just like having you guys over for coffee. This is One Was Johnny, a counting book by Maurice Sendak. Awesome. Oh, cool. It actually belonged to the library. I would like to check this out, please. That seems awkward, doesn't it? So cute. I love him. He's uh, where the wild things are, right? Yeah. yeah that's, that's cool. So that's adorable. So um, Mark was just saying to me that uh, Jessica, they can't hear you terribly well. So uh, in case you guys haven't done a build a bundle before, what I showed originally in the plastic bag, that was the base bundle. There's going to be, it's $20 for a Build-A-Bundle. You start with your base bundle, and now I'm just putting on top of that stuff, which is all the same in each bundle, I'm just putting out ephemera. And it's different kinds of ephemera, all different things. And when it looks like a $20 pile to you, you type in me. And it'll be $20 plus shipping. Wow, these people liked these things. These are all paper weight, guys. It's this kind of a textured finish on the front and the back is blank. So that's enough of those, but they are gorgeous, aren't they? Ooh, look at the lady with either a giant dress or a tiny head. You decide. What else do we have? We have this, more, more pictures of London. Oh look, it's the same kind of thing, but tiny. They sure did document their trip, didn't they? And I don't get it. Oh, it folds out. Ta Nifty. And these are not postcard weight, you guys. They're, um, it's pretty thin, but that's fun. And they're blank on the back. And that looks pretty darn old. Oh, the view budget card from Litchfield, it looks like in 1914. Wow, that is pretty cool. Nobody's going home without uh, some doilies, just so you know. Easter Bunny. Corinne, I love them too, aren't they cool? A London Concertina. Fun. Is that what it's called? Barbara, you're just making things up. There's some St. Patrick's Day. And again, I'm putting a bundle down, guys. I don't know how much of it, how many doilies are in there. But it's, you know, about that many. At least 10, I'm sure. And those might have to be folded um, to go into the envelope. But um, they iron out beautifully. Totally lost what I was saying. Here's a tiny little guidebook to your brownie cameras. Number 2A, 2C, and 3. That is so cute. Uh, my mom would love that. She used to have one of those. Really? Yeah. This was uh, December 1919. Wow, did she have one then? <laughs> Just kidding, Mom. 
Oh, Dad says fold them and make doily pockets. That's a great idea. This is so cute. Look at that. Huh. All right. Let's see. Hey, remember these? That's so cool. I love this. It's what you used to get your negatives in. And it's already a tuck spot. And in case you guys missed it with my endless yammering, this is stuff I bought um, from an estate sale. It was just a box of stuff. That's why it's so completely random. But it's so cool. I love this. This is a really old book. So old its covers are gone. And I don't know when it's from because that's gone too. But it's a really cute size. And it's got some illustrations. And I really like the type. So that's going in there. Oh, the Bear Mountain Grange Cookbook, June 1900. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, this is worth 20 bucks right there. A little newspaper clipping. Hmm. Oh, if someone's making doily hats, may I have one of those as well as coconut cake? Wow, that is so cool. It's in kind of rough shape, you guys, but it's beautiful. Alrighty. A Bayview magazine. Again, kind of in rough shape, but it's um, from 1902. Some water damage down here on the bottom. I have no idea what a Bayview magazine is. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take a pass on that one. It's water damaged. Never mind. That one's not going in. I literally am just reaching into this box and pulling out random things. Um, what else? I love those old cookbooks, though. They're so cool. I know. I love old recipes, period. Yep. Uh -huh. All right. So, wait, I'm going to another box. Do we need some postcards? Well, not that one, Kay. Let me just put that one away. <laughs> These are postcards. Uh, not that one. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love those colors. The Bermuda Inn. I want to be there. Okay, that's funny. Just random postcards. Oh, look, Holiday Inn. You guys remember those? This one's Fresno, California. A postcard because you're sick, sick, sick. That's hysterical. This is a postcard of, oh, uh, yes, Williamsburg. A golf cart, of course, not a golf cart. This is a postcard that was written on December 13th, 1956. These are fun. I love the colors. That looks also oldie. Also looks like Bermuda. And this one has rounded corners. You guys are killing me. It doesn't look like 20 bucks yet. Don't forget, you get this whole bag. Huh? <laughs> you guys get the whole bag of paper stuff that I showed before, plus the pile of stuff. This is we got Cheryl. Cheryl, yay, Cheryl. She couldn't take it anymore. There. I was just getting to some of the older cards, so I'm going to go ahead and put these. This is a um, vintage Christmas postcard from 1907, and I had this one in my hand too. So go ahead and put those in for you too, sweetie. And I think Amy asked about buttons, right? I have buttons. Boy, do I have buttons. At the same place where I found the playing cards, I found a bunch of buttons. And that was quite exciting. They have been washed because they were very dirty. I don't know how buttons get that dirty, but man, were they dirty. And the nice old man carefully washed them. He's the best. All right, so this one is Cheryl as well. I'll figure out the cheapest way for this to go. Cheryl, I'll put everything together. Hey, I'll trade you a nice old man for a Sammy for like a couple days. Sure. You fly him out there, he'll go anywhere. He's from Seattle. He'd be thrilled to go to Seattle. <laughs> he is a good guy. Oh, I left nothing out there for you again. When, uh, when will I learn? All right. How about buttons? This is going to be a mess. We have buttons, guys. Oh, this is the label I was talking about, you guys, that Lena bought. She got bigger ones for her shop. 
uh, with her logo and they're so cute but they are I can do them with your logo your name whatever shape or size you want there is a custom order listing in our shop for them I'm not gonna dump these out hopefully you guys can see them this is three ounces of vintage buttons complete with little bits of thread big ones little ones obviously every package will be different but they all are the same weight and Jessica these will be four dollars and I've got 10. Do I have 10? I've got 25. I've got a lot of buttons. See what I'm saying? $4, yep, for three ounces. I saw you come in. Thank you. And Amy would like three if we have enough. Okay. Um, Deb would like one. Oh. And Peggy Kitty. Peggy. Thanks, guys. Where's Selena? So that's six total then. Uh, if Amy gets the three. Yep. And so we've got four left, guys. Wait, we might have a counting error. Hold on. We're counting the buttons because I might have written it down wrong. He'll like me. Oh, no, no. Wait. One, two, three, yeah. Four, yeah. Okay. There are 25 available, you guys. Sorry about that. We thought for a minute that we counted the number of packs available incorrectly, but yes, I have 25 of these packs. It was almost a disaster. And I'm sorry, I missed what you said, Jessica. Oh, nothing. Okay. You're so thick so far. Um. <laughs> Amy, they're all a mixture. I mean, they, they're all just they're not sorted by color or anything we tried to put varying sizes in each bag but there were so many buttons we just did it by weight peggy would like another one please cool thanks peggy all right so that's buttons um oh i have something cool that i want to show you i will get these out of the way <laughs> okay, I've got little post-it notes and pieces of paper everywhere. I should probably get myself together that way. Yeah, okay. So, this is something that's going to be a little more expensive, you guys, but it's really unique. Um, and I think this is really cool. They are um, bridge score pads. And I'm actually not going to sell them as a set tonight. I'm going to set, sell them individually. There are, I have four of them. And they are 1920s to 1930s. And each one has an engraving on it. And it's hand colored and signed by the artist. And I think they're so gorgeous. So... That's, so each of those is a set, or you have four sets like that? No, each each book is individual. These are the only four I have. Okay. And I can tell you that the set of four, I did look it up because I thought they were so beautiful. And the set of four without the box on Etsy is $40. But I'm going to do $8 per book. And they do. They're all completely unused. It has auction bridge points or something, I guess, over here. I don't know how to play bridge, sadly. But then it has all of its um, tally cards, too. But I just think they are so gorgeous. So, Jessica, if we can maybe do one, two, three, four, eight dollars a piece. I know they are kind of pricier, guys, but I had to pay a lot for them. I just couldn't resist them. Cool, Renee, which one would you like? Thank you. And Patty would also like one. 
No, Patty says key. <laughs> The second one with the cottage. This one, Renee? Cool. Yep, I'm going to put the post-it note on the back so that we don't damage that um, lithograph. Thank you. Patty, which one would you like, sweetie? Patty typing with her nose. She said she's just up to it since she got home. Oh, <laughs> I you just pick for her. real. I'm gonna send you the swans because they're beautiful, like you are. Anybody else? Oh, Laura, don't go. It's hard to um, it's hard to be the talker instead of the instigator in the chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sure you're delighted with it, Jessica. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's still two available. You've yeah. got one with uh, It's like a Grecian looking. Okay. Yep, and then the and other then another one kind of like a stairway. Oh yeah, I'll hold them up. I, yeah, it's like okay. a kind of a cottage. Oh, okay. Those are pretty. Aren't I they, mind that one. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then this we'll one is happens. sort of Grecian looking. And the coloring is just so delicate. I just thought they were gorgeous. Yeah, those are really pretty. Bye, Tammy. We'll wait for you. No, we can't wait for you. Oh, Kay has decided she wants the cottage. Oh. Kay, did I say hi to you? I don't think I saw you come in. Welcome and thank you. These are really cool, guys. They're just unusual. Okay. My grandma used to make me play bridge with her and my mom and, and my aunt when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Jessica, that was really fun. Jessica's saying that her mom used to make her play bridge with her grandmother and her aunt when she was a kid. All right. Super fun. Super fun. All right. So when we, Oh, I left nothing for you to look at. All right, you guys, what time? Oh, we're moving up on two hours here. Let's do ledger pages. It's a set of ledger pages. Okay. 25 pieces of ledgery paper. Just the way they came out of the ledgers. And all except for two of them are vintage. So the first thing, the first kind of ledger paper you get is this guy. And it's ginormous and it actually is four pages again when I took it out of the book some of them came um, came straight out of the binding and so I left them together that way in case you wanted them that way but not all of them are that way some are individual pages so there are four pages of that and it just tried to escape and it is 13 and three quarters by ten and a half so this is a big page. I will ask you if you want me to fold it to ship it less expensively or if you want it flat, uh, it'll just cost more to ship. So this is not vintage, but I love the layout. The way that it's, the grid is going this way because if you put it in a journal and fold it, you get those cool lines going that way. So I found that at an estate sale and thought it was cool. So you get two of those. This one is vintage, and I like the color. And again, you get four pages of that. Some will be attached and some will not. And that one is 10 inches by 12 inches. Then there's this one, which again, it's so fun to find vintage ledgers in different shapes and sizes. So this one is four pages, again, some attached, some not. It just happens to be in this book, uh, this pack that I grabbed. They're all attached. Uh, 13 and a half by eight and a half. Yes, it's very, it's very um, legendary and ledgery. 
and then there are three pages of this one and they are mostly separated and that guy is 12 by seven and a half then there are more of those inventory control cards which i just thought were neat and kind of ledgery looking and then yeah yep yep it's this one strings and all I want to show you oh no I don't have the book up here I think I showed it um, on Facebook the ledger this came out of and there is a full signature of this so um, it's five pages and this is a 1911 store ledger and it was very hard to cut this but then when I was looking at it it kind of fell apart it kind of made the decision for me and it's just so beautiful so you get five pages of that in this kit, uh, and that's the whole ledger set. And um, it's going to be a ten dollars. It's twenty-five pieces. I'm sorry, it's going to be eight dollars. And I've got and it's twenty-five pieces in the kit, and I've got ten of them. Okay. That was a lot of numbers. Oh, Penny Knight, thank you so much for coming. And and then, can I call on one of those if there's one left? Absolutely. Jessica's, Je <laughs> Jessica's calling dibs on one if there are any left, you guys. But, um, we'll do you guys first. Jessica, I'm sure I can scare up some combination for you if we run out. Okay, we have Darla. Mm hmm. And, um, Susan with a Z. Oh, yep, that's JC lives here. And then Olga and Tammy and Chris and then Kay and Candy and then Selena wants five, so I guess. You know, I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she could have three. Um, Lena, can I? Two if I get one. Lena, can I do one for you and one for Jessica, and then I'll talk to you afterwards about putting together a bigger set for you. It may not be exactly the combination as this, but it'll be very close. And I do have plenty of the very vintagey stuff. So how about if we do one? here for you and then I'll talk to you afterwards. Because that's actually all I really want is that vintage paper. So, oh. so use stuff. So. Oh, okay. So if everyone else is set. Oh, Laura's buffering. Bummer. No, Jessica Sorry, gets nothing. Like that, but... Not at all. No, that's fine. Um, so if we do three for Lena. Is everyone else all set on the ledger paper? All right, so I'm going to do three for Selena. That's all 10 of them. And Jessica, I'll just do the vintage pages for you separately. Yeah, the tall ledger, you have some of that left? Yeah, the written on one? Yeah. I do. I have lots of that. That was a fat book. So, if I forget, would you remind me? I will. I wrote it on here, but you know, there's that whole, I can only do one thing at a time, and you know. All right, great. Thanks, guys. So, we are coming in on 8 o'clock, just about. Let's do a few more books. Oh, I left nothing up there. Oh, my goodness. I, um... I just got a couple here that are pricier, but so cool. Just so cool. And I'm wandering around aimlessly looking for the other one. Oh, here we go. This is a horticulturist's journal of rural art and rural taste from March of 1862. And it's delicious. And I'm going to ask $10 for this. I just think it's gorgeous. It's Printing, talking about plants, and the back, it's ads. 
all different kinds of ads and it's very thin paper but it's in great condition having been printed in 1862. I love this book. So this one's going to be $10 when you get a chance, Jess. I just was like watching it. I, I, know. I, was, I was too because I've gone through it 10 times and I still, I, it makes me drool. It does look like some of the pages, I can't, I was going to say that, nope, that's definitely, there's some damage on that page. But then it's got listings and novelties. And I just think this is the coolest catalog ever. So that is the horticulturist. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. <laughs> All right then. Oh, goody. For me. Yay. More for me. <laughs> or me. <laughs> All right. I'll put it in the maybe to Jess pile. Oh, and I left nothing. All right. This is something very different. Um, and I just couldn't resist it because I'm that way. This is a handmade book that was, um, it's like a hard cover, really hard cover with hand marbled papers and all kinds of gilding around the edges. And it was made for Anne. So who do we have? Who's Anne in the house? Um, so it's very cool. It has been repaired. It looks like with book tape. But it is beautiful paper, and it's completely blank. It's all deckle edged paper. I don't even know how many pages. It's quite heavy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. All blank. Yep. Every single page is blank, and it's in great shape. It's, it's like a drawing sketchbook. It is like a sketchbook. It's really um, heavy. It almost feels like handmade paper with that deckel edge, and it's got a little bit of texture. And apparently Anne did not feel like sketching or drawing. Um, so, yay. Right before they gave a tour. Oh, that's good news. Sorry, Anne. Bad news for you, good news for us. So that is Anne's sketchbook, and I am going to ask $20 for that, please. I just love it. I just I want to make a journal out of it. I want it to be my journal. Whenever you're ready, Miss Jessica. Jessica said Anne died right before they gave her her new book. That's sad. It makes it even more valuable. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Why must we make fun, make fun of Anne? <laughs> well, she's naughty. She should have used it. That's so funny. Laura. Did, Laura, did you say you? <laughs> she said Jessica, me. Oh. <laughs> Poor Anne. I know. Let's have a moment for Anne. All right, then. Anne goes in the no sale pile. I have one more book. And I wish that... Julie. Oh, Laura says oh. from her to me. Aww, Laura. Laura. That's so Excuse sweet. Me, girl. You guys are so nice to each other. Aww, I'm going to cry now. Aww, thank you. Peggy, aren't we though? <laughs> Peggy says we're sick puppies, and yeah, well, Peggy's here too, you notice. Right. Thank you, Laura. Laura, that was sweet. I'm writing that down because I'll forget that too. You know how I am. Putting it in the Ann book. Jessica, you can just slap a sticker right over there that says Jessica. I'll make you one. She wants me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. All right. So this is the last book of the evening. And it's a WAPA. It doesn't fit in the camera. This is a Rand McNally World Atlas International Edition. It's the most delicious thing ever. That's the spine. It does have a little bit of damage down here, but that's it. Considering it is 90 plus years old, it's in fabulous shape. And wait till you see the inside. 1929, right there. 
all this beautiful aging on the pages, all the talky, talky, mappy information. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it so beautiful? And the super cool part is half these places don't exist anymore. I mean, they exist physically because as far as I know, the world is shaped very similarly to how it was in 1929, but everything had different names. Look, oh, isn't it? It's quite luscious. It is quite luscious, isn't it? This was a hard one. All kinds of cool photos, information, and then the maps. Oh, all right, so I will tell you, this book is huge. It is 11 and a half by 14, and it weighs a million pounds. Let's get the scale. Let's get the weighing machine. Have you all seen it enough? Really, do you need to look inside? Just, I know I am petting it. I can't help it. Mark, look at it. Oh, look at it. And it's Texas. How many times have we talked about Texas today? A lot. Ew, Texas. No, <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. Jessica doesn't believe in Texas anymore. It doesn't exist. I'm going to put my face on right on it, Margie. <laughs> and then I'm going to play with the buttons. All right. I can't see. This weighs almost eight pounds. It's a big one. Eight, eight pounds. So, Jessica, when you're ready, I would like $25 for this, please. And I'm buffering. Cool. That's what I would like to ask, sadly, guys. 25 bucks. Wow, awkward silence again. Come on, you, you guys. Do you need to see it again? Don't fight over it, you guys. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I was so hoping that Julie from Jules Journals would be here because she would go insane. Peggy's a taker. Oh, Peggy, thank you. I'm just going to pet it. I'm going to pet it one more time for the road. I didn't want to sell it, but it is awfully large. Yay. Oh, okay. Bye, Map. I love you. Thank you, Peggy. I'm glad it's going to a good home. Patty. <laughs> you saved Patty. That was very good of you. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have about emptied the coffers. Oh, wait, no, we've got one more thing. We have one more thing. It's a flower guide. Stop petting my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pet it a lot before I, I nail it. Put your, put your face on it. I just told Margie I was going to. She said, don't put your face on it. <laughs> yeah, if you could see where this book came from, you're really going to need to sanitize it. I could not believe it was in such good condition where we found it. All this crinkling and rattling is me opening another package. So I've got little sets of um, field guide pages because I found a whole bunch of field guides and that way you guys don't have to be a hoarder. I'm trying to save you from yourselves, you know. So let's see, These, this is um, 30 pages of vintage field guides and it will be five dollars and i have ten of them peggy woo. all right so we've got flower field guides some of black and white some of them are colored and i just think they're so beautiful and then really fun to fussy cut. you fussy cut these you're crazy. Kind of. I mean, do you do you cut loosely around them? Jessica's saying these are fun yeah. to fussy cut. Yeah, loosely, with, and then just ink around it. You know, it looks really cool. I thought these were really. I like the black and whites better than the color ones, but I thought those were fun. And some leaves. We've got some shells. And I'll tell you, this book, this shell book, I know is vintage because my stepmother gave it to me when I was thirteen. So oh, wow. it's really, we're going into antique land there. Um, so there you have it. Proof in the pudding. Lots of shells. I, I love this book. 
but the spine had started to crack and the pages were coming out so it was begging this one is looking for the date the flower um, field guide pages are from 1902 a 1902 field guide that I found um, that was literally falling apart at the seams but someone had won it as a prize and kept going in and taping it so there are some old old pieces of tape on some of the pages because someone really loved it and then there's some bird field guide pages same size same kind of book um, and the birds are from 1923 aren't they so cute oh and there's the tape again somebody loved their prize book There's 30 pieces in it, and it's all it's all field guide, and it's five dollars. I've got ten of them, and then they're the butterflies because you can't go out identifying things field guiding without butterflies. And the field uh, the butterfly book is from 1934. So that is the whole kit. Well, it's not a kit; it's a set. It's a collection. It's a pile. Who's stabbing people with scissors? Wait, wait, no violence. No stabby stabbing. Whenever you're ready, Jessica, or did you already type it in? I'm looking for it. Okay. So, got your, got your writing utensil ready? I'm actually looking for a post-it. I've killed the post-its. All right, I'm good. Okay, so um, if you requested more than one, we'll go through the list. I feel like that's fair, right? And then if there's any left, you can have another one, right? That sounds great. If you guys didn't hear Jessica, if you've asked for more than one, we're going to do one for each person. And then if there are any left, you can have another. Um, because I think that's fair. Everyone can get uh, get a shot at it. So. Okay, so uh, Kate, Kate Borland. Okay. And Tammy. And Cheryl Wilm. Is it Tammy? Cheryl. I'm pretty sure she says it's Cheryl anyway. So. She does. Is it Tammy OKC? Tammy Swapper. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cheryl. Uh huh. And then Candy and Peggy. And I, Renee, are you saying you want one? Or are you just answering? Yeah, I think she's just answering. Um, and then Susan. Cool. Uh, Regina, wait, no, Laura, Laura Bassett. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll need that last initial. <laughs> Everyone's named Laura tonight. And then Patty. Okay. And Elizabeth. It's Patty Lang, right? Not Pity? Yeah, Patty Lang. Uh -huh. Okay. And then. Josie. Hey, Josie, I didn't see you come in. Thanks for coming. Okay, and I think that's all of our me's. Josie was the last me I see. Oh, and then Crafty Chris. Oh, sorry, it looks like we're out, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, wow. seven, eight. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chris, I don't have any left. I've got okay. Jessica, I have kids. One to each. Yeah. Sorry, Laura V. I can look. If you send me an Etsy message, uh, convo. I can look and see what I can put together. I don't know if I have enough of everything to make this exact kit, but if you, you know, want something in particular, I can certainly try for you. All right. So I've got Kay Borland, Tammy Swafford, Cheryl, Candy, Peggy P, Susan, Laura V, Patty Lang, uh, Elizabeth, and Josie. Thanks, you guys. I didn't know those would be such a huge hit, but I was so excited when I found them, and um, I figured this way everyone, again, could have a little bit and not have to be a hoarder. All right, so let me move these out. So you guys, we've been going for, I don't know, two hours, two hours plus. Do you want to do another build a bundle with that same base, or you want to wrap it up? I love that page. 
Selena, I don't have any, but again, I can talk to you about um, putting together various parts and pieces for you. Oh, there's Darla. Wants, a, wants to do a Build-A-Bundle. You guys up for it? I think you should do a couple more. Cool. That'll be fun. Let's then. I think I have... I do. I have three more. As I said, I didn't think of this until like 5 o'clock or something, so I only had the chance to put five bases together. All right, so everybody knows what the Build-A-Bundle is, right? You guys know what the base pile is? Cool. <laughs> Patty, keep going. All right, so this is the base pile, same as the other one that we did. And I'm just going to start putting stuff on top of here. When you think it looks like a $20 value to you, type me. We got 42 viewers. Thanks, Lena. You guys are awesome. That's so cool. And it's so fun. 34 thumbs up, so we need a few more. <laughs> Jessica says we only have 34 thumbs up, so we need a few more. Thanks, you guys. That's so sweet. I think we should celebrate with Easter bunnies and some more. <laughs> no, I really, I really want to tell you how much I appreciate it. I was so nervous last time, and it was such a disaster. If you guys had not been so supportive and wonderful, there's no way I could have done it tonight. I would have been like, no, no, no. And now I just think it's the funnest thing ever, and I'm going to go live all the time for no reason. <laughs> yep, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> They're shillelaghs. Isn't that what those are called? Wow, that cracks me up. Yeah, so I put a stack, at least 10, I would say. Oh, Margie, thanks. Elizabeth is back, yay, and you got a pack of, um, uh, not flashcards, oh my god, <laughs> field guides. Here we go. All right, well, someone was a camera buff. Commercial photo finishing from Eastman Kodak. Cool. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty cool. Let me see if we can find a year on it. Back into my bo box of random um, ephemera. July 1931. That's pretty nifty. All right. A program. Twelfth Night at the Century. Ooh, that's really nifty. 70th anniversary. I have no idea how old it is. It is starting to come apart, but it was only bound with a single string. That's funny. 1917. This is very cool. And a little bit of music. Bonus music. That's pretty nifty. Margie, are you heckling? Nikki, how can you still be awake, you poor thing? <laughs> what time is it for you? American silversmithing, old and new, fine arts journal. Devoted to the fine and decorative arts and subjects of a kindred interest. Oh my. 1910, they talked fancy. Oh, neat. And it's um, kind of a shiny paper. Well, that's pretty nifty. They certainly had an interesting assortment of things, these folks did. Did we get Thanksgiving doilies? Good God. How did we miss that? Ain't nobody leaving without doilies. And then we have this very cheerful group. Gosh, they're having a good time. Heavens. And I don't want anyone to be without some of these. Again, they're book weight pictures. They're absolutely gorgeous, and they're blank on the back. So I don't want you to go home with none of those. Oh, you're, that's very good of you, <laughs> Margie. Be careful with those, Nikki. Matches in your eyes, not good. It's 120. Ugh, you never sleep. Poor thing. Oh, well. Interesting. I guess we won't put that in there. We're going to go ahead and take a pass on that. I'm just looking. I'm taking it just a small peek. Interesting. Christmas services at Tremont Temple. It's like a pamphlet. little tiny one. That is super cool. Looking for a date. I think I need new glasses, you guys. I have my cheaters on. Oh, 1933. That's very nifty. 
Oh, Margie, congratulations, and congratulations to Getty. Tremont Temple Bible School. There's your deacon. Rally Day, 1930. That is so cool. All right, let's get some of those wacky postcards out. I don't understand this stack of postcards I have because it goes from like 1900 to 1980. Oh, and there's a photo of small children. Cute. Here is a postcard of Washington's bedroom. It says 1907 on the postmark. Oh, I have two stuck together. <laughs> this one is 1907. That makes a lot more sense. This one is... Oh, it says 1907 too. That doesn't look right at all. That's the postmark on it. I don't get it. Very cool. 1907? That, that can't be right. It's got to be a 67 or something. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Let me find the camera here. Can you guys see that postmark? I swear that says 1907 and it looks like that kind of handwriting. But, I don't know. Okay, well, that's what the postcard says. I don't get it. Here is health for the grown person and dyspepsia. It's like a little advertisement. Really, guys? This isn't 20 bucks yet? <laughs> oh, cute. An Easter basket. So cute. It's postmarked twice, but it's blurred. No, can't see. I can't read it, but that's, that looks old. Here are, Margie, I thought you were being good to celebrate. Yay. I'm so happy for you and Getty. Congratulations and thank you. And, well, this isn't even open, so I'm not going to open it, but it was in my hand, Margie. It's quaint Cape Cod postcards. I used to live on Cape Cod. So that goes in that one too. That one's for Getty. Make sure he gets it, please. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Got a couple more. Damn, that, was a that is a pretty good haul. Uh, let's see. I really did run out of post its this time. Hold on. And I got to take a gulp of water. You guys are so funny. All right. So this goes to Getty, and Marge might get some if she's nice. All right. There you go, Margie. See? I know for sure. All right. Another same, pretty much the same base pile. Tana? Did you say something, Jessica? No, no. Oh, okay. You're cool. All right. So we're going to start right off the bat with what I just pulled out of the box of Strange Ephemera. Yeah. Somebody's scrapbook. Nice. I don't know if you can see, it's um, embossed in gold, and it's the Tremont Temple exterior shot in Bolton, Massachusetts. Ooh. Certificate of membership, the girl's helpful. Huh. And some old photos and some music. This is really cool. I guess it was uh, somebody that followed the church pretty closely, but neat. This is from 1921, These, um, those photos are. And here's an old newspaper clipping. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very neat and tidy. All right, so, yeah, it's full. Look at this. Oh, Jessica, it's your favorite era. It's Mrs. Calvin Coolidge. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Grover Cleveland. I don't know who that is, but she looks mad. So that's kind of cool. Somebody worked pretty hard on that. So that's going in the, the build a bundle. And what did we say about doilies? Nobody's leaving without doilies. And Deb's going to make us all hats. Hey, Valerie's here. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? Hi, Valerie. Valerie's a cutie. Yep, you got your Easter doilies. Not letting you go without your St. Patrick's Day doilies. And I'm looking forward to a doily hat. 
Yeah, right there, your Thanksgiving doilies. I have a lot of those, you guys. What else do we have in here? Well, that cool scrapbook is in there. Here is a photo. Very cool. Scenery. Here is an old postcard. Old Orchard. Oh, this is Old Orchard Beach. This is where I live. And that is the pier where there used to be a ballroom and casino down at the end. And it burned down and they put, built a new one. But they used to have a ballroom out in the ocean that was very cool. This is Washington, D.C. Old postcard. This is the back of my post-it notes. I won't make you have that. Let's go grab another handful. Oh, wait, I had something. Where did that go? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I have all these bits and pieces of fibers. So you guys need some of that. Here is some chenille yarn. Very beautiful teal. Here is a whole bunch of green and blue ribbon, which is very pretty. Can you see the floral pattern? And there is, well, there's almost two yards there. I forgot I had this. Here's some cute little heart ribbon trim. I'm not gonna take it apart and measure it. Oh, here's some purple fuzzy. Oh, this is like, someone's already made something out of this. It's like stretchy, someone crocheted, it looks like. A couple rows of this. Huh, that's weird, but I'll let you have that because you might do something terribly creative and it's a beautiful color. Here's another piece of ribbon. I don't know if you can see the color. Oh, look how dirty my hands are from the newsprint. Um, it's sort of this rust color chiffon ribbon that's just beautiful. So we'll put that in. And... Jessica, were you talking about this is real eyelash trim? It's pink and purple. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know exactly what you mean, you guys. This looks like fake lashes, and it feels like fake lashes. Yeah. Pink and purple. It's gorgeous. Variegated. And there's a bunch of that. So we'll put that in. And a nice piece of skinny satin ribbon. That's white. And, oh, I love this. It's na I think it's navy, not black. It is navy and white striped grow grain, nice and thick. So there's quite a bit of that. Well, you guys are killing, oh, I know. This will put somebody over the edge. This will do it. I'm not gonna dump these on the, whoops. <laughs> I'm not gonna dump them on the counter. I'm gonna put them right in the bag. How about some buttons, some vintage buttons? Those are so cute, fabric covered. They're like little flowers and all different sizes. So I'm gonna put these in the bag so they don't escape. Do you need more buttons to make this a, a go? <laughs> these were little plastic cap things. And what appears, to, oh, that's a little tiny covered button, so cute. I'm just pulling out these weird little plastic things. I don't know what they are. There's some more. Look how cute. That's Mother of Pearl, vintage Mother of Pearl. This little tiny covered button that looks like it's from a wedding dress or something. So cute. I'm going to put that in there. You guys are killing me. What can I do? What can I make this? What, what's the deal breaker? Um, more buttons. How about these buttons? How about these little guys on a card? Those are vintage. I'm going to put that in there. Hmm, tricky. <laughs> Another vintage button card. They're very pointy and fashionable. Well, okay, that's good in there. Let's see what else we've got in the, the box. All right. What have we got? Oh, we've got another family photo. This is from 1943. Oh, I love that. I love old photos. And have you guys noticed most places they're like a dollar a piece? Yep. Oh, look at them in their fur coats. They're so styling. And this is a page out of a book. And it's goats. Maybe it's Heidi's grandfather. 
I don't know, a, a vintage postcard that's kind of faded out, but it's just beautiful. I know, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. You know what's cool about what vintage photos is that um, unless the person that owns the negative can touch your copyright or whatever on it, then you can copy those old black and white pictures. Oh, I know, and there's there's so many things you can't do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cheryl jumps in. Look, I'm going to give you this guy with the really cool hair. Amy said, Wants this lot, as long as you keep the doilies. No way, Amy. No way. <laughs> Cheryl, I think, did you have Cheryl as a me first? Um, the Mass on the Day of Burial. Okay. Did see Cheryl? No, she said, well, that's... So Cheryl, do you want to give it to Amy? Because she can't. I've got one more. Cheryl couldn't stand it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> We've got. Uh, Sorry about that. No, that's all right. All right, Amy. Cheryl did pop up first for Jessica, so I've got one more coming. Cheryl, you get the doilies. Don't give me any lip. <laughs> that scrapbook is super cool. Come on, you guys. That's a great deal. All right. So that goes over there. That was a good deal. And we have a one more. Same base. Everyone good on that? I've got to have a, a slug of water, you guys. I'm dry. You can never have enough buttons, Roy. That is the truth. And I um, lucked into those ones I found a couple weeks ago, but that's the last of what I have. All right. I'm going to not put doilies. In. That's just crazy, not putting doilies in there. Ooh, look what was in the box of ephemera. That's cool. It's bent, but it's beautiful. Neat. Those are expensive, too. A tiny book. It's a Lilliput dictionary. I almost think I had one of these when I was a kid. It's German English. Look at it. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh, can you see that little tiny writing? Is that a Lilliput? It is. I think I had these when I was a kid. Yeah, I've seen those on eBay for, you know, five five to eight dollars a piece for a little dictionary. Wow, Jessica said that she's seen these Lilliput dictionaries on eBay for five to eight dollars a piece. Wow, well, here's your start of a collection. English, German. They're so cute on tags. Oh, on tags, yeah, and clusters. Wait, this isn't going, I'm keeping this, sorry. No, just kidding. So cute. Oh, okay, so right there, that's a, that's a good deal right there, you guys. Oh, a letter on onion skin, Jess. Neat. Uh, it's just one page of a letter typewritten on onion skin. That's kind of nifty. Um, let's see. I uh, know. This one is a pictorial card. I know those um, sell for like five or six bucks a piece. Oh, let's see. Debbie, you missed the base. You guys don't mind if we flip through this base real quick, do you? Heck, for you've already got twenty bucks worth right here. You don't even need the base. It's um, I'm not a hoarder, Pat. Debbie is what I'm calling them, and I only had a couple because I didn't think of it until like an hour before I came on. But I will do more for next time because I think it's an awesome way to start out a stash or just kind of refresh your stash. So I'll do the abridged version. There is coffee dyed paper that didn't make the cut when the old man was 
coffee dyeing, like this one has it stuck to the cookie sheet a little bit. There's a vintage um, stockholder report from the 30s. There's a big giant map page. <laughs> Margie, yeah, right? See, I'm a hoarder, so you guys don't have to be. There's a piece, uh, two pieces of acetate, which is pretty fun, and a piece of scalloped craft paper. I guess it'd be easier if I turned this over like this. There's a page of a uh, very vintage ledger. It's 1911. And this is one that didn't kind of make it when I was taking the book apart, but it's perfect for collage. An Wait, it's very vintage. Is that kind of like very pregnant? It's very pregnant paper. Yes. <laughs> I was just impressed. 1911. Can you imagine? Wow, Aaron. I'm taking that out of there. You guys forget about it. That's not going in there. Kidding. Did you see that, Jessica? I should have looked at some of the stuff before I started hauling it out, huh? Good deal for you. Um, so this is an inventory card. And there are a couple of Alice and Jerry pages. Uh, shell field guide. Butterfly field guide. Piece of shorthand. Some of those funny Betty Crocker uh, recipe cards. I just adore these. Aren't the pictures awesome? Oh, it's the Midnight Poolside Supper. Apparently we're having cake for dinner. Yeah! Um, a very vintage Jessica, shush, um, receipt, 19 teens. It's got 19-1 printed on it. A snow goose, because you can't have enough. Some music paper, very music-y. It passes the Jessica seal of approval. It's music-y enough. A vintage receipt from New England Telephone and Telegraph. That's so funny, $1.75. <laughs> It's dated 1937. Um, some very beautiful stationery, handmade stationery or fancy stationery with an envelope. An Edith Holden page. Not vintage bingo. What do we call this? A detective checkoff sheet from Clue? You had a good detective notebook page. Detective notebook page, yes. Yeah. Not vintage receipt. A page out of an um, automobile record, miles and tires and all kinds of stuff. 1906 day book. This beautiful napkin, which I just think is so pretty. It, it is, this one has some discoloration on it, guys. But again, you know, you've got all the trim and you've got the motif in the corner. Oh, I have one other thing that I forgot that I was going to do. Three vintage birthday cards, because you can't not have vintage birthday cards around here. A cutter copy of um, Teletale or Whitman or some small book like this that, I, you know, I'm not able to salvage because it's, you know, the cover is kind of too rough, but the inside pages are just beautiful. And a not vintage bingo card and two little tiny Vocabulary cards. That's the base. And what did I do with its bag? Oh, it's right there. I'm going to put it back in the bag so I don't lose any of the pieces, you guys. Amy needs a living room. Did someone steal your living room, Amy? That's terrible. All right. What did I miss? Yeah, couches are way overrated. Every time I look at mine, there's a kid laying on it. And usually with snacks. Safia, hey. Oh, thank you. I thought it was a great base, too. It's just um, we were talking about the fact that if I'm taking something apart for a kit in the shop or something, I end up with just a few pages left, and I never know what to do with them. And so this way, you guys can have a little bit of everything, uh, and I'm not wasting stuff that shouldn't be wasted. So it works out beautifully. All right, so that's the base. We've gotten up to the $1,000 Lily Put Dictionary. <clears throat> yes, I'm a wonderful person. <laughs> One of the 3D photo cards that Roy was saying that's from the 3D viewer from the early 1900s. 
Um, this is a giant pictorial card. This is a great deal, you guys. I shock myself. And then we had this really cool onion skin letter, just one page of it. What else have we got? I guess I'll let you off the hook on the doilies this time. We made a dent anyway. Oh, another weird um, occupation card. I love these. I don't know what it is, but here's a teacher card like that weird smoking dentist. Shut up, Margie. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what these are for, but this is a teacher. She's lovely and she's not smoking. I'm happy to report. Then more of these um, beautiful pages of British uh, tourist attractions, or not tourist attractions, but you know what I'm trying to say. Westminster Abbey, and they're paperweight. They're not cardstock, but I, I don't know what they are. Maybe they are for framing. That was a good, a good thought, Jess. Uh, you mean they're national monuments? They're not really, because some of them are just no? like country houses. They're not national monuments uh -huh. necessarily. I mean, some of them are. Uh -huh. I think it's just stuff that you would want to see while you were in the UK. It's pretty cool though. Going through the going through the box, see what we got. We've got a 1984 copy of the postcard collector, German silhouette art. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Hmm. Very nifty. I like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Let's go see what we got for postcards. I really don't understand how they sorted those postcards, but we have one here that's home of Jane Withers, Westwood Village, Los Angeles, California. Do we know who Jane Withers is? The residence of Errol Flynn. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's um, like a little booklet. Oh, it folds out. Apparently I have a hard time with foldy outy things. The residence of Dorothy L'Amour. Ha-cha-cha. That's kind of cool. She was, Margie. I've never heard of her. Of course, it doesn't mean anything. Here's a lovely bookmark. Here's another letter. I just got this stuff over to the side a little bit, you guys, because um, I am pulling out stuff that I've never looked at, and some of it has been a little questionable. <laughs> oh, Margie, you're just smart. Your sister did... It is, and Amy was just saying her sister used to do that. That's hard. Uh oh, we're buffering. My mom used to collect those silhouettes, and they're really cool. Really? Uh -huh. I can't imagine doing it. This is a letter from the Massachusetts Military District. Assignment of inductees transferred to Enlisted Reserve Corps for completion of eight year reserve service. All right, then. That is a lot of words. No date. But it's kind of cool. It's very yellow. This is a tiny envelope. No thousand dollar gold piece in there, so that's going in. 1926 commencement exercises with the calling card. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. You guys are killing me for 20 bucks. And... There are two more tiny envelopes with nothing in them. Here is the interior of Fort, Fort Sumter. And we've got another glad Easter tidings postcard. Easter tidings postcard. A cool old photograph of a building. I know what building that is, but it's escaping me. Uh, w. B. Gilbert, commission merchant, dealer in butter, eggs, cheese, and fancy butterine. Do we know what butterine is? And then it's got notes on the back. That's really neat, and it's card. You people are killing me, really? Twenty bucks, Safia. I know, aren't the postcards neat? I got a box full of just various paper stuff, and I'm just pulling out pieces. Oh, look, they're cute. And this postcard alone, or this photo alone, is marked 25 cents. All right, you guys are going to need some fibers in there. 
more random fibers. I'll put it over here in my looking through it. Red gro grain. Okay, Margie. Margie, grabbing it. Margie, you're grabbing it. <laughs> Thank you, Margie. That was a good deal. I've got a couple more fibers for you. I'm not even going to make you have the um, the uh, doilies. Boobs. Margie said boobs. Okay, I'm sorry. Margie couldn't stand it because she wanted this little tiny dictionary to read to her cats. All right, I'm going to slide it all in the same bag, Margie, so I don't lose anything. I have one more thing, you guys, which is super cool. All right, let me put Margie's name on here because you know I'll forget. And I was mostly kidding when I said I was just going to mail out random stuff to random people. I won't really do that. Those were so fun. I wish I'd had time to make more bases. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, there goes Margie. And this is really it for what I have. Are you ready? Are you ready? I haven't murdered it yet, but I'm going to. It's Holly Hobby. Aww. Isn't it so cute? Four squares. I had to wash it like three times because it was in bad shape and it d does still have some stains, but not bad. So I'm going to cut this into four pieces and take off the backing, which is not very exciting. And the very, very owie, lumpy filling. <laughs> it feels like they're rocks. This is a, a Holly Hobby rock quilt. But I will have four squares, and I'm going to do $4 a square. Whenever you're ready. Jessica said she forgot she was moderating. She's just reading the chat and talking to people. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Um, how much did you say? Four dollars a square. So I've got four. Okay. I double checked the count because you know how I am. And you guys do be aware. I don't know if you can see it, but there there is some staining on it, and I don't think it's coming out because I've washed this thing like three times. But it's in great shape. Other than that, and it was some kind of nasty when I bought it. Okay. Amy, I can't let you cut that. I'm so cutting it. Chris, Chris wants one at least, but if she wants four, maybe you don't have to cut it. Kay says it's Sunbonnet Sue. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not Holly Hobby. That's true. Really? Look at me lying. Huh. Yeah. Still cute. I do remember Sun Bonnet Sue vaguely. I guess whenever I see a giant hat like that, I always assume it's Holly Hobby. Yeah, doesn't Holly Hobby have the long braid? Oh, yeah, maybe. I lied. Sorry, guys. Good thing you're here to keep me honest. I have yeah. to cut it. I know. The thing is, Amy, um, the the batting is destroyed. Oh, can't you can't see the bottom ones? So yeah, there's like she just wants one, so. the this is a yellow and this is an orange. There's not a huge difference, but it looks like on the camera you can't really tell any different. Okay, I'm sorry. It is it's a, it's hand appliqued, and then it's um it's actually not quilted. It's tied, and that's why I'm assuming it's got rock balls in it. I'm sorry, Amy. Does, um, oh, Cheryl, you're leaving. Thank you for coming. Everything will be going out on Monday, but you'll have an invoice or an Etsy order tomorrow during the day. All right. Is that what it is, Margie? It could be because I watched it 78 times too. Um, so, yeah, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So the bottom right yellow one, Chris. Oh, you're going to do it on camera? God, no. Heavens, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica wanted to know if I was going to chop it on camera, and I'm not. But I know that I'm going to write that down. 
bottom right for Chris. And I'm sorry to make you sad for murdering it, you guys, but it really is, um, it's in pretty rough shape. And the back is not that exciting. So that was that. You have cleaned me out. Unless someone wants to revisit the child craft book. Yes? Horses and harnesses? Yeah, you have a few books that have been filmed. The child craft one, um, the horse book. Yep. And the dandelion Christmas one. So... Poor horses. Yep, the horses and harness is really cool, um, but the pages are coming out. Josie, I'll put up a custom listing in your name tomorrow on in the Etsy shop, and you just go and find your name and pay for it like a regular Etsy order. And every I'm going to figure out the cheapest way to ship everything, and it'll go out on Monday. Oh, Elizabeth, you're still here. I'm sorry, I can't. Um, I can't look at the screen and talk at the same time, apparently. Thank you so much for coming. You guys are awesome. I'm not going to do another sale for a little bit, um, but I will make sure that when I do, I will make more of those cool, I'm not a hoarder, build a bundles, because that was a riot. This is the child craft. $3, can't go wrong. This was the $2 Richard Scarry, because the cover's in bad shape, but the pages are so adorable. And then there's Dandelion's Christmas, the cutest bunny ever. Oh, Regina, thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, we've got more thumbs up than we have viewers right now. You guys rock it. You're the best. So this is Dandelion, and that is my dog having a mental breakdown again. <laughs> All right, so those are the books that are left, and pretty much that's what's left, you guys. I mean, I think we've got a few... Are there some Christmas kits left, I guess, Jess? That's about it. So, oh, Susan wants to know about the horses. $3 for the horses, Susan. You, do, you did see that it's um, coming apart, right? It's sort of deconstructed itself. It's a pretty cool book. And the texture is really nice. If you wanted to color, it's got a little bit of um, tooth on it. Oh, Carla, the uh, Richard Scarry is only two because the cover is broken and it's like all rusted out and everything, but the pages are in great shape. Oh, let's see. So we've got Susan with like the horse book. Great. Thanks, Susan. I'll put it with your other stuff. And guys, what I'm going to do is um, figure... And Peggy wants the child craft book too. Oh, thanks, Peggy. I'm going to be sending a truck to Pe Peggy's house. Um, but I will figure out the cheapest way to get everything to you. It may end up being two separate packages if you bought books and other stuff. Um, because nothing else can go media mail except for books. So I will figure out the best way to do it. And again, you'll have an invoice or an order in your name on Etsy tomorrow. And they will all go out on Monday. Oh, Carla uh, wants a Richard Scary book. Alrighty. Thanks, Carla. Putting your name in that one. Is Amy still crying about the quilt? Because I can't take it. There'll be no crying. This is my live stream. We'll have no crying. Oh, I didn't do any giveaways. Next time we'll do a ton of giveaways um, to make up for it. Sorry, guys. But, so, as I said, I'm not going to do another sale for probably three weeks or something, but I'm going to try to go live and just talk to you about crafty things or do something because it's super fun and it's like having my friends over. You guys are the best. I am going to um, sign out. I think my kids just got home and the dog's barking and, you know, it's chaos. But I really want to say thank you to everybody so much for coming. And it was so much fun. If I missed you saying hi, I'm so sorry. I'm getting better at this, though. Oh, Roy, I see. I, um, I don't have to edit. The nice old man does it. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, I get sick of hearing my voice when he's editing videos. 
It's like, really, do I have to hear that for the 11th time? And everybody thank Jessica. Jessica, you're awesome. Thank you for moderating. Oh, thanks, Darla. Thanks, Peggy. You were pretty good tonight. I'm glad we didn't have to put you in timeout. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thanks, Susan. I'm so glad you could come. Oh, you guys are going to make me cry. Don't forget to subscribe to each other. I'm so glad that you guys got to subscribe to each other and share channels and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sign out if I can figure out how. How do I even do that, Jessica? <laughs> um, you go to the, well, you're using the X-Split, right? I don't know. <laughs> you guys are just going to stay with me all night because I can't figure out how to turn you off. You can just close the window. That's what I'll do then. Thank you so much, you guys. And I will um, put up a notice when I'm going to go live. Probably next week. We'll do something fun. Maybe we'll jelly print. I've been wanting to do that. So that's what we'll do. Awesome. All right. Good night, you guys. You can touch, you can touch all the buttons if you want to, because I'm not as mean as Jessica. <laughs> night, everybody. I know, right? It's never going away. Yeah, that's all right. I'm actually typing for the first time. Oh, look, now um, Sunbonnet Sue is life-size.